TV show. What's that? I don't watch TV shows. Fuck up, Joey. I don't watch all anime. Boomer Those are TV Joey. shows. Oh, let's not pretend you still watch anime, Joey. Come on. Let's, <laughs> let's, Shut let's up. Let's be real here. Shut up. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Trash Taste. I am the boy, the big boy, and with me I have big boy Chungus and small boy Chungus. Wow. Why, wow. why am I suddenly the fattest one here? That's not a call out, Jerry, right? I haven't been seeing either of you at the gym lately. I don't know what's been going on with that, but you know, I'm very disappointed. I mean, who was so. the one that got a C in cholesterol? That's the fucking like- Yeah, I, 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 I want- adding each other I, I, I wanted, really? okay, I wanted to like Let's open on that. I wanted to open on that. Cause you know what? Okay. I was, uh, I was, you know, I was doing my usual trash taste um, schedule and uh, shitting on the toilet literally before recording. Got to get a get a phone call from Sydney, yeah. And she said, "Oh, I finally get my health health results back in." I'm like, "Congratulations! What'd you get, Sydney?" And she got all A's. How and the I'm fuck like, is Sydney's I'm like, liver an fuck a. off, Sydney. Fuck off. You got all A's. So how, how is it that she gets all A's and yet I got a C on my liver? <laughs> when I'm probably the one out of the four of us who drinks the least. <laughs> okay. Okay. So so to give context to this conversation, so a few weeks ago, if you're a regular trash taste viewer you would know that we had our biannual or annual health annual, check. Annual. Annual health check. Yeah. And I Which did is not- something that a Japanese company forces every employee to do. They have to go for a checkup and the company also gets the results. Yes, mm. yes. And so we, we, did, we did our health checkup a few weeks ago. We talked about it on Trash Taste and we just got our results back. And this is the first time I've ever gotten results back from like, a, you know, get, getting my health checkup in a foreign mm. company, right. uh, country, sorry. And I did not know that you get graded. Yeah, I'm used to seeing numbers and them saying like, yeah. oh, this is bad. I'm like, oh, well, I mean, it's just a funny number, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you, it, it literally, I got my health checkup and I'm just like, wait, they are literally grading you A, B, C. It's like, like it's, it's like an end of year school report. Yeah, right? it's, yeah. I, I felt like I was doing my GCSEs again or A levels, <laughs> like, my God. And normally I don't really care too much mm. about my health checkup. Unless you know, it's I'm, bad. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, no, <laughs> unless it's bad, right? You see numbers, you see, you know, you see the yeah. doctor's suggestions and they're, they're just that. They're, yeah. doctor to suggestions, but yeah. I don't know why. I, I think it's seeing seeing my health being graded like a school test. <laughs> it just brought the Asian blood out of me, right? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I definitely felt more competitive. Yeah, <laughs> with my body. Because I was going through my health checkup, and overall, I, I got a B. So I was like, okay. I am a straight A student. What, did, what the fuck did there's I no, do wrong? There's no B in Asian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is no, no dead ass. But dead in Asia, <laughs> B means bad. <laughs> dead ass, the first thing I did when I got my results was I phoned up my mum <laughs> and told her that, and told her how, how well I scored in this exam, like a good Asian son I, I called up the doctor and I was like, just to check, this wasn't ranked, was it? This was, this was casual, right? Yeah. This is free play, right? Please say, please say this was psych. <laughs> please say, no, but uh, yeah, so I mean, my results, I got like all A's, which is great. As yeah. you'd expect from someone who is under the age of 30, you're yeah. generally yeah. supposed to be quite healthy. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got, a, I got a B on BMI, mm. yeah. which I mean, obviously I'm, I'm built a little different. Right. right. You know? Yeah. And this is Japanese BMI, which I believe is slightly different. I don't know if I'm, if I'm led to believe that's correct, but yes. right. but I mean, BMI is bullshit anyway, all, all load of shit. This is hundred percent muscle, not fat, don't, don't <laughs> at me. Uh, and I got a C on my cholesterol. Right, right. Ooh. But I got, I got like, uh, well, I, I'm not sure how cholesterol work exactly because I don't yeah. know shit. I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah. um, but one of so there was like they had like three different cholesterols and all of them were like a little you know all, all of them were kind of out of touch. If right, you right, right. Um, but I was like in my head, I'm like, well, they gave me three C's now for my cholesterol. I'm like, mm. but what are the odds of one of these cholesterol being good and the others <laughs> not being good? You know what I mean? Right. Like yeah. if, if I had amazing cholesterol, the other two aren't going to be like, well, shit. I mean, well, fuck, we got to pick it up. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know, to me it was odd. I mean, and mine then, was yeah. worse because I got a C on my liver and I think a B on my heart rate monitoring or something. Right. Really? And everything else was an A. Right. What does that mean? Yeah, I yeah, but that's the thing, right? It's like, <laughs> it's like usually on your thing, like I think you two got like a doctor's like note, right? Or like yeah. a doctor. Mm -hmm. Did you guys get a doctor's note? So you can thing? ask in, when you get the thing, I don't know if you said yes or no, you can right. ask if you want advice. Right. And I said, no, I don't want advice. I, I, I said no either. I don't want but I, I still, I st I did, like I got, I don't know if it's the same doctor's note that we're talking about, right. but it was just like a summation of the test yeah, results. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which it just, didn't explain anything. No, it didn't explain, it, it just said, um, some of the values are a bit, you know, abnormal, which is, you know, higher or lower than mm -hmm. we expect, but there shouldn't be anything to worry about. I didn't even get a summation. Did you know? Mine, mine literally, like uh, overall, I got a C and the, the summation box was just blank. I was like- Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah wait, mine so too, mine So too. Wait, you're just gonna tell me that my liver is bad and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like context- Should I be worried? Some context would help, <laughs> yeah. right? Did, did, did you have to get, did you get a note that said you had to come in three months later as well? 
Like oh. did. I did. I, I got that. They told me to come back in three months. But I don't, I don't. But it's optional. I mean, on the thing, it says like if you get a C, they recommend you come back three months later. But uh, I didn't get yeah. like a note saying that I should come back. No, three no. Months so later. yeah, mine said you should come back in three yeah, months. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You have to pay for it. Yeah. And also, I, you know, for cholesterol, he's, oh, I'm obviously going to turn up, and they're going to be like, "Hey, you should uh, exercise and eat healthy." I'm like. Thanks, dog. <laughs> I, I was going to ask because I, I heard I heard you're back on the chicken and broccoli diet. No, no, no. I haven't gone right back to the chicken and broccoli. Okay, I have, okay. I have started eating a little more health conscious. Though. Is it because right. of the test results? I think it helped. Helped yeah. me be a bit more conscious. It made me, you know, when you would, you would maybe just go for the karage or you'd yeah. go for the chips. It made yeah. me be a little se- let me be like second thing. Like, I, really I mean, I it. I definitely have like stopped drinking since. <laughs> <that's for sure. laughs> well, I think okay, I, well, I think is, I've only drank like once or twice since. Is, is, is the liver hundred percent all problems come from alcohol? Because I feel like it's not just probably that. There's, there's yeah. gotta be a whole host Prob- of other things. Yeah, it's yeah probably because, not. Because the problem with the test results is that they they gave they gave you the grade, but they didn't tell you how to improve it. And right. I guess I guess that was yeah. our bad because we literally ticked the box that said we don't want doctor's advice. Because right. I, I I had assumed like any other health <laughs> checkup that it would just be like you know the gener- you're gonna be good, right? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just like the generic. You know, are you doing well? Yeah. Are you? Do I need to go to the hospital to yeah. really ch- have a lifestyle change? No. Yeah. But as soon as I saw the fucking B. Cause I got a, I got a B in my blood and I'm just like, how the fuck do I improve my blood? What am I doing wrong? Why is my blood a B? Just improve your Nen, <laughs> just like control it. <laughs> like, cause they, they were, they were like, they were like going on like, well, you know, the, the white blood or uh-huh. T, T cell. I don't, I'm not a fucking- uh, I, I, I saw the numbers, I just saw the A. I was like, I'm yeah. happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I saw the B and I'm just like, as, as, a, as an Asian student, you know, cause whenever I saw a B in a test, I'm like, okay, I can improve this test score. Mm-hmm. I, can, I, I can study a bit more. I can optimize yeah. this a bit more what, somehow. What I found interesting was that like, I always thought to myself that I was very deaf for my age. Mm. Like, because you know, I went to like a lot of concerts growing up and just yeah. fucking basically destroyed my ears through like headphones and shit like that. Yeah. But so I was expecting like on the hearing part that I maybe get like a B or something, mm. right? I wouldn't yeah. even have complained about it. But then I saw I got an A. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it's not that I'm deaf. It's just that I don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of made me realize, That's I was like, oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad to know. I don't have a hearing problem. I, I just have like an attention problem. I just don't give a shit. Yeah, that's, 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 a my, shit. that's my problem. I, 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 was telling, I was telling the company, I was like, listen, if, if my eyesight or my ears come back shit, I know exactly why that is. And that's because yeah. I didn't know what the fuck was happening when they yeah. were talking to me. Oh, really? Yeah, they yeah. just put the headphones on me. I'm like, wait, what? Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, what? <laughs> they were like, can you? Then she asked me, luckily I just caught her asking, yeah. can you hear in Japanese? Yeah. Like, can you yeah. hear it? And I'm like, Hear what? What am I listening for? Like, and then I realized because I had done the human benchmark test right, right, like right. recently that it was the frequency thing. So yeah, you yeah, say yeah, when yeah, you yeah. can hear it. Yeah. But I was like, what do you? What do you want me to? Like, what am I hearing for? Like a burp? Like what? Like I didn't know what that was happening. So right, I was right. like, oh, okay, yeah. shit. All right. Yeah. How did you? Because with the eyesight thing, right? You have to do like the. It's like a circle, but yeah, 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 it's yeah. cut out, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, how I, did you guys say that in English? Well, no, I said it in Japanese. What did you just point? Oh, ue. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I, cause I, I really yeah. fucked up in the eyesight thing because I didn't know what they were like looking for. Right. So I thought it was like a normal eyesight See. test thing where now, when I was just like, uh, E, <laughs> A, <laughs> yeah. uh, because, because, okay. So to explain the eyesight thing, they have this circle and they have like one of like either up, down, left or right, that's cut out. And then right no, next- No, the diagonals as well are cut out. I didn't see diagonals. I didn't see there, diagonals. There no diagonals. Yeah, there were no, diagonals. No, 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 yeah. I, I only saw up, down, left, right. No, there were diagonals. No, cause I got all of them right. <laughs> Yeah, I did too, but there were diagonals. There was no <laughs> diagonals. Yeah. There was no diagonals. My one, they gave me, they usually have diagonals, right? I've never I, seen I, diagonals. I, I, I saw okay. diagonals. Because the only reason I knew about this test is because when I exchanged my driving license from British to Japanese, I had yeah. to do the exact same thing. Right. Yeah. And I, I was just, uh, it was this exact same thing again. Yeah. Really? And there was no diagonals. I mean, yeah. I definitely got it right because I came back with like a 1.2. She's gonna be like, what the fuck right. is man talking about? Diagonal life, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because right next to the circle thing, you had like the letters as well. Yeah. So I was just reading out letters when they were asking <laughs> what direction- I would have, yeah. What direction oh, is missing from oh, the circle. Oh, <laughs> oh, Because I was wondering why she was looking at me really weird. And I'm just like, and she, she kept asking me, can you see, can you see? And I'm just like, like yes, yeah, I- yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just read out the letters for you. <laughs> So like, why are they all O's? <laughs> <laughs> this is the easiest fuck. <laughs> yeah, luckily I, I'd done the simulation before, so that's yeah, why I was right, like not right. panicking as much. But yeah, man. I mean, 
I, I, I clicked no to the health advice because I just figured that it was going to be the same old, you know. Yeah, I'm just eat healthy. Listen, listen, yeah, because yeah, let's be honest, right? If it's if it's unless it's something you know bad, like yeah. really bad that actually requires treatment, right? Yeah. They're just going to tell me, hey, you should exercise more and eat healthy. Yeah, and, you know, I do most of that anyway. Yeah, but, because you know, yeah. I mean, like, I think for cholesterol, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Literally, just, just yeah. Eat. But for some of them, like for example, liver or blood. You look at that yeah, result. Blood's a little yikes. It's, yeah, it's like think? a it's like a number of factors, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. what like, do you even how, start with? How do how do I improve my white blood cell count? I don't know. Do I do I just take an injection of <laughs> white blood cells? Well, what do what do you want me I, to do? I have a theory, right? I, this, this is this could be a very uh, pleasant theory. I don't know. I, I my theory was because we got the health checkup done right after like Christmas, and my yeah. theory was, well, I've just been drinking and eating straight for like yeah. three weeks. <laughs> this is clearly come on. We got to write this off. This yeah. doesn't count. Yeah. Man. Of course, my cholesterol is going to be higher. I had like eight thousand calories three days ago. Of course it's gonna be higher. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But I, mean, I did drink a lot in Christmas, so oh, that I might I be. Ate, yeah, I yeah. so much. Yeah. yeah my I, God, I think that terrible. definitely skewed the results. That's that's what I'm gonna chalk it down to. I mean, <laughs> doctors out They're there. They're wrong. Yeah. Doctors out Science there. Science uh, is wrong. Please validate me in the comments. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to hear if you have an alternative theory. Just say if I'm right. Yeah, I just found. I just found it funny how, like, I, I think it's. I think it's. This is the difference. Definitely the difference between like Asian culture and like Western culture, where I feel like in Asia, living in Asia, they try to make everything a test and everything yeah. kind of competitive, and that's just. I. It, that's what? how I was raised as well. So whenever I see yeah. a grade, I like something in my blood drives me to try and improve that grade. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and I don't know if I'm just like over competitive or I just maybe- Well, I think it's good, right? Because if you're the kind of person who you are, yeah. those, those things work really well. But right. there's obviously some personalities out there that when they hear, oh, by the way, like your BMI is bad or your liver's bad, where they're just like, instead of like wanting to be like, well, fuck you, I'm gonna improve it. It's like, yeah. oh shit, I guess it's just like, there's no hope. Like, why why is it like yeah. not working? Yeah. And then they should make it worse, right? Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like as, as you know, as someone who, grew up in you know kind of kind of both cultures i mm. think a lot of toxicity can come in putting so much value into a, a test, grade yeah. or a test and i feel like definitely living in asia they put way too much value mm -hmm. into test results and school results do you think do you think there are like some schools and like companies where like they get bullied if you got like a bad rating on well, like one of your health I, tests? I, I think it's totally i, I it's definitely a thing in asia because yeah. i heard it's because like this motherfucker got a d in his blood yeah because because in 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 asia i i i, I don't know if i'm talking about my ass but you, you see in like anime definitely where you get the test results right mm -hmm. and it's like public Posted, yeah, yeah so yeah. you you publicly know what your fellow classmates got, yeah. and that to me seems like a lot of pressure. And they do that for like university, like entrance exams as well. They're That's like they like yeah. create a huge billboard in front of the school, and it has like your number on it. And if your number doesn't show up, you basically fail. Yeah, brother. Wow. So it's <laughs> it's like a public execution. Yeah, they literally <laughs> make a public tournament arc for your test results. No, like no it's no brutal. wonder they put so much value on tests here. Yeah. And I I think that can that can definitely uh, that to me from my experience can definitely skew with your mentality when you go out of schooling and mm. you realize that not everything in life is graded and yeah. <laughs> not, every, not everything in life has a percentage or a grade that uh, judges your results and how mm. well you do. Yeah, I think especially because of the, given the industry that we've gone into, which is oh. entertainment, if you will. Uh, I don't know if you call trash taste entertainment, yeah. but we're, <laughs> we're trying our best here. Um, I feel like the skill set is nearly 180 in compares of what, what you learn in school, mm. right? It's purely based on like, I feel like social skills are 90% of our job. Oh yeah. yeah. Right, being able to read a room, being able yeah. to like talk, you know, and, it, and it, I mean, obviously there is a lot of technical aspects, obviously like learning how to set up all this equipment, mm. but yeah. the majority of it can't be taught in a classroom. Oh no. And it's kind of, and you can't I mean, really grade it, it, you know, you, how can you grade someone's social skills? Imagine <laughs> we started doing that. Ooh, I <laughs> mean, I mean. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, Connor, ooh, you know, you were an S, but yeah. ever since the event happened, yeah. you know, you've been kind of a bummer. You're kind of a D now, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, yeah, it's like, it's like getting graded for every tweet you make, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> honestly, if Japan- like, if Japan, like, oh, that was a B plus tweet yeah, right there. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Asia's gonna find a way. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> I mean, I, I went through a period in life where, you know, I, I was the stereotypical weeb that didn't go out and I had zero social skills. No, same. And, and how I learned was, I, I think everyone goes through that stage, especially if you go through university where you kind of wanna, you kind of wanna reinvent yourself, right? Yeah. It's, you, you move into somewhere new and you wanna be a new person. So what I did was I basically just had like a full year 
where I just went out as much as possible mm. and talked to as many people as mm. possible. Mm. Just like try to go out of my comfort zone. And that was fucking hell for me as yeah. like this introvert. It was of kind course. of like, it's kind of like a trial by fire period of my life that I would never want to do Dance again. 300 Spartan training, <laughs> social structures. It, it basically was cause I, I literally, I literally just did not know how to socialize. I didn't know how to read a room. I didn't know what the social norms that's, that's were. That's like such a common like cultural thing in Japan that we actually have like our own word, like right, phrase yeah. for it, which is university debut. Yeah, really? Where, yeah, yeah, really. It's like a, it's like a cultural thing in Japan where like because there are so many like antisocial kids mm. in middle school and high school, and that when they go into university, they're like, oh shit, I'm like one step closer to where I have to socialize in order to fucking live mm -hmm. in society. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So university is literally my last chance before I'm thrown into that world. So I'm gonna like make a 180 during university and just fucking do anything and everything possible mm. to just completely change myself around. I think it is a really OP mindset when you when you you know because you know I wasn't cool at all in school. Mm. I was I was like very much an in-betweener, you know, I wasn't right. cool, but I wasn't like, I wasn't like on the bottom of the social right. ladder, if you will. You yeah. weren't like bullied to shit, right? I mean, that's cause I started fighting back. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, I clawed my way out of the bottom. <laughs> uh, you know, I was just kind of like, whatever, like no one really paid attention to me. Never had any luck with like, you know, dating or anything. And yeah. I was, I never had any of that. But then I thought like, oh wait, like no one knows who I am in university. Mm. Yeah. So like, I don't know, no one knows I'm a mid tier social. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a C tier C on the tier. social ladder, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I, I can, I can reinvent myself. Right. And I think well, I didn't, you know, I didn't reinvent myself. It's just like, you don't do the mistakes. You don't fall back on crutches that you had. Like, like mm. don't, like you said, right? You go out more, you don't, yeah. you know, I could play video games, which I which is what I probably would prefer doing. But yeah. I, if people invite me out, I'll say yes. Cause you want to be seen as fun. And then right. if you seem as fun, everything goes easier and you learn I, more, you get more confident. It's, if for me, it was- Go out of your comfort zone. For me, it was like the complete opposite. I was right. like the really social in middle school and high school. And then when I entered university, because I started doing YouTube, yeah. right. I like Shut kind off. of regressed. <laughs> but you also, you also lived at home, right? Yeah, I lived at home. I can imagine that's like way, you must feel, did you feel like different from like the other people who are living on campus and uh, stuff? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, it, our campus was weird because I think the majority of people in my class did live at home. Oh, wow. Yeah, we only had maybe like a handful of people who actually lived oh. on campus. Which, uh, which, which university did you go to again? Uh, Sydney University. Oh, okay, so I guess it's cause it's a city university. Yeah, I mean, we have our own campus and like dormitories and stuff yeah. like that, mm -hmm. that uni students live in. But I think the majority of people, because it's such a, uh, an accessible university because it's like smack bang in the middle of like Sydney, like oh, city. Yeah, yeah. So people can just like get on trains and buses and just oh. go home basically. Yeah, cause I, I feel like, like- no one in my class who lived locally to the area. Really? Like, was from there. Well, that's because you went to Swansea, right? And yeah. there's, what, what is there to do in Swansea? Well, it's a good question. I'm, <laughs> I'm still wondering that myself. I mean, I mean, to be <laughs> I've yet to find the answer. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I didn't, I didn't live locally either. I live yeah. like an hour and a half by bus. Fuck. So I didn't live close yeah, at all. Yeah. I could have, like I was at a distance where I could have easily lived on the dorm, but then I heard from people who were living in dorms in Sydney University, they were like, don't do it. That's a good experience though, you know, being thrown into hell. Honestly, I, I feel like I learned more valuable social skills um, and just life skills going to university mm. than I did actual career skills that I was used that that I learned from my course. Yeah, right. I don't think I realized it until I left and then I actually started like functioning yeah. on my own. You yeah. Know? Mm. Like, I don't. I don't know what I would have done without that period in my life. Jesus, mm. like it, it basically taught me how to survive in the world and how <laughs> people really are, and yeah. all the expectations I had growing up. And like, cause, cause as a kid, right, you kind of expect that as you grow up and the, the more mature you get, you assume that everyone's just gonna realize what they're doing, get mature, and then you kind of realize. Um, going that through university, especially, especially that that was a fucking lie, and then you go out of university start like the working world and you realize, oh, everyone here is just like grown up university students and everyone, <laughs> nobody actually knows what they're doing and everyone yeah. is still secretly as immature as it's they like were It's like adults before. aren't as adults as I thought they were, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. I feel like I don't, it's either like people just have their shit together or they don't, like there's no in between. Like, yeah. I don't know, I've never met anyone. Most adults that I've like, met are just like kids in suits, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically the best way I can yeah. describe it. And um, it's, it's especially, Especially here, it's like seeing some of the recent stuff that's been happening. Um, obviously, stuff like let's uh, can we can we talk about how uh, the we, stonk market? Can we talk about the stonk <laughs> market that's uh, that we've recently just seen? Yeah, I mean, we're going to be very delayed from you guys. We, we are going to be very delayed because it's to a us very- it, To us, it just happened. To us, it's just happened or is, is happening. Yeah. I don't fucking know. It's a constantly evolving situation. By, so by the time this airs, it's probably everything we're probably going to be saying is going to be outdated. But, mm. 
Um, Who knows? The stock market might not even exist by the time this yeah. comes. My out. God, when reality <laughs> is this entertaining, who the fuck needs TV? This is what I'm saying. This is what I've always said. Yeah. Real life is so much more interesting. Yeah, yeah. Than, you couldn't make a movie about like if you'd have pitched a movie being like, right, so what happens is a bunch of Redditors, right? They buy GameStop <laughs> stock and they like, they fuck over these billion dollar head. Like, no, no, everyone thinks that's fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah. It happens, it's yeah. like, this is the coolest fucking story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Thus, documentaries are better than movies. Yeah, and I, I just think we are reaching a time period where, you know, it used to be, a, you know, a funny meme, but now memes are just, fu real life memes, big memes now yeah. are basically just, Take making fun of like real life events, yeah, pretty much, you know, and having a real life effect on the world. That mm -hmm. is that is the modern. That is what memes are growing into. I, now. I think I think uh, I saw someone on Twitter saying they were like, "This is like kind of the revitalization of it's just a prank, bro." But <laughs> the pranks have just like gone actually gone far, like to, gone wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I saw that story, I was like, "I don't know what the fuck is happening," and I'm really scared to ask. Dude, I, I like when it was happening, I was like, what the fuck does shorting a stock mean? Yeah. And now I'm just like, <laughs> now because of this meme, I've done so much research that I'm yeah. just like, you know, maybe, maybe I should get into the stock market, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's, it's, it's really weird because- Have this, you YOLO'd? I have not YOLO'd now. <laughs> I, I, You're gonna YOLO that YouTube money away, <laughs> can't you? <laughs> Look, I'm not, I'm not a gambling addict, okay? As uh, much as, as uh, much as the gacha <laughs> episode uh, might have uh, might have made me like, I am not a gambling addict. You'll so. YOLO on gacha, but not on stocks. But it's, it's made me think a lot about my, you know, grown up investment, like, uh, grown up investments uh, talk that I just it's weird never because really I, I've thought about I've been before. doing stocks like through like my dad, cause my dad is like really missing. So I've been doing it, but when this shit happened, I was like, should I, should I be scared? <laughs> like what's happening? I, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. Dad is on money like, safe. Dad, is my daddy, money? Daddy, daddy, please, is my money okay? <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no one, no one in my family has anything about it. I mean, yeah. you know, I think my, my, my family always, I think every single generation of my family has just like made enough to get by. Right. And like yeah. do buy some nice things here and there. Yeah. So I don't think stocks was ever on their mind. I think mm. my, my parents had some stocks in the companies they worked for as like a gift. Right. Yeah. So I think my dad checks up on those stocks, but in terms of actually knowing about the stock market, yeah. you know, my, my, no one in my family has any idea. Well, right, so. because it's not something that, you know, everyone commonly learns, right? But that, that's, that's, that's what I was it's thinking. It's totally fancy gambling for rich men. Yeah. Really. Well, that's, that's what it's like marketed as, right? But I, I mean, I'm doing my research and like, Properly, properly reading into this, um, you know, like I, I was thinking, why the fuck aren't we taught this in mm -hmm. school? Because I feel like, especially knowledge on the stock market, a lot of the reasons why people don't get into the stock market, from what I realize, is because nobody knows shit about it. Right. Yeah. It's it's because no nobody was taught this in school, and it sounds so complicated that nobody has the effort or energy to really read up and learn about this. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, and the only reason I started reading about up about this was because the fucking stock market was on fire and it turned into a massive meme. I literally started reading up about this because of a meme. Who right. would have thought that memes get you to go into like educational adventures? <laughs> Happens all the time, man. <laughs> but, here, but like what, what this made me think was, why weren't we taught about this in school? Like there's so many, growing up, there's so many th life essential like knowledge that I think should be, sh that, that I think everyone should know. To be fair though, it's like, I'm thinking back, like when you were like 15, 14, right? You wouldn't have paid attention. You wouldn't have paid attention. No, I mean, you, you wouldn't know, have- They always say like, oh, why didn't they teach kids about taxes in school as well? Because I no one- you, you, I, I, because no one would fucking yeah, care. But I, I think even if you aren't, even with taxes, I do think that there should have been something. Yeah, there. no, but I agree. There, there should have been there something. There should yeah. be something. So at least you, when you get to that You're point aware, in life, yeah. you are aware and you can go back to be like, oh, this is why it was important. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because there's there's so many things. Like for example, I don't know why that like, it's not compulsory to have a financial management course in, <laughs> yeah. in, 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 in school. There should, <laughs> should be, be. Yeah, there yeah, should yeah, be, there totally should be because financial management is such an, as like an adult life essential skill. And it's something that you have to learn by just by just mm. either one, your parents teaching it to you, or two, fucking up and realizing that this is an important skill you need to know. Instead, but, schools are like, no, let's learn the quadratic equation. Yeah, but You'll no, need that. But no, let's learn That's that. That's pretty there useful, are, actually. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're doing it on the quadratic <laughs> equation, Jerry. It's but a no, very let's good let's equation. let's learn that there are 180 degrees in a triangle. I've used that before in my life. Let's learn about uh, the tangents and the, the yeah, cosine yeah, and the, the sine. Is the powerhouse of the south? <laughs> I don't know if you know that. Uh, well, you know, I think. I think why they should be teaching like taxes and financial advice in school is not so that like, 
you get because obviously kids aren't going to fucking come out of school being like, "Hello, let me do your taxes." It's yeah, like, yeah. No, just so that when they leave school, it's like it's on the back of their mind. Yeah. They're like, I "I've mean, been taught that this is a thing that's going to come up, and that I should learn how it works." Yeah, for, for my value. Yeah, right? exactly. It's the the whole point of school. I feel should be at least preparing you for yeah. what you're going to face yeah. in the adult world. And yeah. you know, there can be some specialized courses. And yeah, right. I I I I memed it up, but I can understand why they teach mathematics and algebra oh, in case yeah. you want yeah, to yeah. pursue that. Right, but right. what I am saying is there are so many life essential knowledge that I had to learn on the fly yeah. and everyone does. And I was just not taught this stuff in school. And I'm thinking, why the fuck is this not taught in school? Yeah, and the thing is, is that like, yeah, you know, people can argue being like, you know, oh, who needs to know the fucking quadratic equation? Well, people are going to like architecture or like math-based stuff, but like yeah. financial advice and taxes and shit like that. It doesn't matter what job you go into, you're gonna have to deal with it as yeah. an adult. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, there's so many things in my school that we were taught that like, uh, were, were replaceable in my mind. Like right. we were taught, like to an, we were, like do like media studies, and like just, where we just like analyze like newspapers and shit, and just like <laughs> talked about like the media and how they advertise and stuff. Which really, is, like, it's in yeah. my job now, but I didn't even get anything useful from that. Yeah, I, I had to do that as well. Yeah, it's fucking I, did, oh, I didn't have to yeah. do that. And then I did like cooking, which was stupid because. I'm, let's be honest, I'm not, I'm not a good cook. As, you, as I'm sure guys will find let's be out. Let's honest, Uber Eats is a thing now. <laughs> <laughs> be honest, make, make money, get Uber Eats. You know, that's what it's all about. And yeah. I get, no, but like, you know, could have replaced it. And I think that, um, fuck, what was I gonna say? Fuck, I totally forgot my point now, fuck. I'm done. <laughs> Go back to you. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. What okay, I'm okay. No, I, I I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, like, there's so many important things in life that I just don't know about. Like, mm. I, you know, like for example, I have no idea about anything about mortgages or anything like that. And when I say mortgage, you, you say the word mortgage, right? Mm. And you're like, oh, okay, you are a grown up. But <laughs> you know, you know, yeah. As as a kid, you hear the word mortgage, you're just like, I, I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, that's grown up. Shit. I, I had to learn that shit on the fly. But I was the like, thing, I don't know what but, the fuck. But is the thing about. is, everyone should, you know, aim to own a house or own some property. That's like the one of the final goals in life, right? <laughs> and yet it's no, nobody is taught this I'm shit. I'm like, is school. it bad? The only time I've ever heard the I'm, word mortgage was in a Monopoly game. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only uh, time I've heard uh, of and, it. And, and, and you know what? I still have no- I still don't know how to mortgage in a Monopoly game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I still I still have like the bare bones basic idea about a mortgage because I've I've not gone through the process of buying a house because that shit sounds scary to yeah, me. Yeah, it is. And I, I did go and see, uh, a uh, mortgage advisor, just cause I wanted to learn more about it. And right. my bank had it for like, they were like free consultations. I had no intention of getting a mortgage. I just wanted yeah. to know how they work. Right. Yeah, because I feel like you should know yeah, how yeah. they work. Yeah, yeah, so I, I went and then just this really awkward thing of like, so what do you what do? you do? And like, and I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> we well, see. Uh, so I make, I make videos about like anime, this is the time. And yeah, then right. he was like, okay. And, and he was like, and like, this is your, this is your income. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, it, it changed a lot in one year. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it does that. Like, <laughs> it could go up or down. Yeah. I don't know. And I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I should just tell him as little about my job as possible. Right. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, yeah. be like, this guy's a financial risk. <laughs> Can't give him a mortgage. But yeah, I mean, it was it was it was pretty standard stuff. I mean, there's different rates and stuff, but. You, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I had to sit down with like our like family financial advisor. He basically like I had to go through like that's the most privileged thing you've ever yeah. said. In your life. <laughs> oh, for what? <laughs> I, I, I have never had a Holy fat shit. financial advisor. No, it's because it's because my my parents are like super into like fucking like the housing market and like the stock market and shit like that. So it's just mm. like you're an adult now. You, that you still sounds privileged. You can you, yeah. you can you can talk to this man in a suit that comes to our house every so often. You think is our lawyer? I used to call him our lawyer because I didn't know who the fuck this guy was. I was like. There's a man in a suit, he must Bro, be a lawyer. Check your wealth, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Harry's Quality Grooming and Shaving Supplies. Gentlemen, we all have beards, except for Garn who shaved. <laughs> I, I, no, I, I do shave and that's why I use Harry's. <laughs> man, I just hate it when I have to choose between price and quality, but thanks to Harry's, that's no longer a problem I have to suffer with. You mean you can get both? At the same time? Yes, gone. you can. That's <laughs> illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Harry's delivers a close, comfortable shave at a fair price, only $2 per refill. Oh, damn. Harry's believes in quality so much that they bought their own factory in Germany, <laughs> Connor's favorite country. <laughs> so you know that it works. Connor, just how do they do it? Gone. I'm glad you asked. Harry's team combined a simple ergonomic design with five sharp blades. They sourced their steel from Sweden and manufactured their blades in their world-class blade factory. Isn't that a, isn't that a fate arc? Are you telling me that Harry's has min-max <laughs> shaving and shaving products? 
Guys. Thank God. Harry's German factory is one of the few select oh. manufacturers in the world that have mastered the technology to create a gothic arc, the gold standard of blade razor grinding. This sounds epic, like an anime arc, but thank God they also stand behind the quality of their blades so much that they offer 100% money back guarantee on 100%? harrys.com. 100%? Right. For a limited time, Harry's has an exclusive offer for listeners of Trash Taste. New customers can get a Harry starter set and a free body wash for just $3 by going to harrys.com slash trash taste. That's over a $16 value Ooh. for just three measly dollars. What do they get out of that? I'll tell you what they get. You'll get a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shaving gel, a travel cover, and a travel size body wash. That's an incredible deal. As Joey just said, that is an incredible deal, but you have to act fast while supplies last. So go to harrys.com slash trash taste to redeem your offer today. Thank you to Harry's for sponsoring this episode. Back to the video. So then when I, you know, became an adult and I started making a little bit of money on YouTube, they were like, okay, you can talk to our lawyer now, <laughs> who turned out yeah. to be a financial advisor. Yeah. So I was like, okay, um, I don't know what to do with this money. Yeah. Please help me. Because otherwise it's just going to collect in a bank, probably do fucking nothing. And he's like, well, you could, you know, mortgage. And I'm like, I mean, that word. I, 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 <laughs> oh no, that word. <laughs> yeah. Ideally, anyone with any kind of savings would have a financial advisor. Sadly, you know, you know, it's it's kind of difficult to get a good one or get yeah. one that even you know, cause like I, understands. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, know. I had to fucking. Like, I would. Sit. I would if I could. I mean, I don't fucking know anyone. Oh no, I had yeah. to sit our like guy down to be like, okay, this is what I do, mm. and he was like, yeah. wait, so you make videos, and you get paid to do that? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, and he's like. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would love a financial advisor because I there's like like there's so little I know about it, and yeah. mm. this this kind of this the you know the Wall Street's bets thing that's been going on has really just opened my eyes to how little I know about mm. this stuff that I feel like I really should know. Yeah, um, yeah. Like a YouTuber I've been watching recently is a guy called uh, I think it's Graham Spector. I think. I know who you are. Like the millionaire yeah. guy. Yeah, the millionaire yeah. guy who's he, like I saw him in like other videos where he was talking about it's it's he he seems like the most grounded millionaire I've ever. <laughs> you know, I he, couldn't stand him at first. He seemed like a dick. <laughs> and then <laughs> I, and then I started watching him. And I was like, all right, okay, he's pretty cool. But he just yeah. came off as like an ass. No, because I, like the, the biggest thing that puts me off is every episode. So he goes, he does the, but don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> if you like Sorry. the video. And like, no matter how cool a person you are, if you right. say it- Immediate turn unironically, off. Unironically, it just like, like yeah, immediate turn off. Yeah. But like I was watching some of the videos and some of the advice that he, he gave, which was some of it was like, just like really basic financial advice about advice. how to like manage your money. Right. And this, the thing is he, he gives advice that any person from any level of income can, can like, um, can, can take to heart because yeah. uh, like one of the ideas that he really tried to, to propagate is like, no matter how much you earn, you can, you can all, everyone should get into the mindset where, that you can invest something. Yeah, that's, right, that's right. what, that's what I, because I, 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 was, I had grown up with the mindset of like Only the word, the invest. word investment, that's for rich people. Yeah. That's yeah, for privileged yeah, yeah. people. I, I can't invest. I don't have the money <laughs> to invest, but even just investing like a fraction of your paycheck or something yeah. in the long term can really help you financially and give you a lot of financial stability. Yeah. And mm. This this is the stuff that we just we were just never taught. Like I, I guess as well because you hear so many horror stories about investments going wrong, and you also hear about like you know people who take advantage of people with like you know a, fin a fake financial advisor who says right. oh I'll help you out with your money and then yeah. just, just runs off with it. Right? Yeah, it's like, yeah, exactly. It's so scary to <clears throat> trust someone with any amount of money. You yeah, know? and you know if, even if you have like barely anything, it's still all you have, right? And it's scary yeah. to give that to someone. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I trust you to, to take care of this. Yeah, right. Cause, right. cause the way that I was taught up because um, you know, I, I, I also didn't come from like the most well-off family. Yeah. So did I, have a, you didn't have a lawyer or a financial advisor? I did, advisor? Yeah, I never, I <laughs> did not have, have a family financial advisor. <laughs> just give Joey's parents I did, a call. I thought everyone had one of those. <laughs> uh, I mean, my, 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 parents, my parents declared like bankruptcy when I was a teenager. It was, you know, it's- Oh shit. Yeah, so, you know, I, I was taught, I was like, I, I grew up with the mentality that, you know, you should try to keep your money you're safe, you should, you know, mm. ga gather up as much as possible. And I realized how much this mentality had affected how I think about just resources in general. Right. So what what when what I realized is that I'm that gamer, right? I'm I, I am that gamer who whenever you know you know whenever you play an RPG, you don't right? use any of the and, and you get you get a you get a rare item and you don't use it. And yeah, I don't use it. <laughs> And whenever I play like Command and Conquer or something or some RTS games, right? I wait until I have a fuck ton of resources no. and then I start buying stuff out. And I realized, I realized this this week when I, when I was like, where did this come from? And I realized, oh, it's because that's just how I manage my money. And that's just, 
I, I've, I've always come in the mindset of, I've got to save this just in case of a rainy day. I can't invest it. Right. I, I need to save it because, you know, investing money might be risky. So it's better to just save mm. it. And, yeah. you know, I, I, I kind of realized this as I was doing research and I learned a lot about myself uh, yeah. this past week because of a fucking meme. Because yeah. <laughs> a lot of like entrepreneurs are like spending everything they have, like just goes like right into buying shit. Like yeah. they have like no savings. It's just all in the businesses. Oh, it's yeah. all just high risk, high reward. But, yeah, but right? then also as well, you know, online, there's so much of those fake stupid entrepreneurs online that have just really like ruined in my mind the image of an entrepreneur yeah. dude, like dude. a speed run ruining like five years dude, like if, I, if, yeah. if i go on like a twitter or a social oh media and it has the word entrepreneur oh, no, on it <laughs> thing, right? you know 10 years ago uh, yeah entrepreneur was probably one of the coolest things you could yeah, say it's like, yeah damn, damn you're an yeah. entrepreneur now i just think Oh, you're, you're just doing a fucking multi-level marketing scam to me. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, you're selling me a course on how to be more confident. Have you seen those courses? Yeah. Those things are insane. They cost like, it's like 1K for the first course. And then they're like, yeah. all right, now you've unlocked the ability to get the next level of the course for only $5,000. And it blows my mind. They're, they're like trying to teach you shit that can't be learned. Right? Yeah, it, but it blows my mind that that people buy into this stuff. Because yeah. yeah. they're obviously just people who have who are spending the money you're giving them on this lavish lifestyle that then they sell back to you. Like they, yeah. it's insane. And I don't know how people get sucked into this. Like with like when we were talking about the gambling stuff, I can understand how somebody can get into gambling and right. can gamble away. I don't understand how someone can watch these entrepreneurs, right? These fake entrepreneurs talk about how they can make you loads of money and they can tell you how to be like, there's loads of like real realtors. Have you seen those? Yeah. 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 Like I can teach you the best real estate course of your life. Just come here for a hundred dollars and then have someone else teach it and then yeah. have five, five more classes. I'm like, how does someone believe this shit? It's all fake, obviously. I don't get it. I mean, I, someone believes this shit because there's, I think the biggest problem is that there's so much information out there right now that you don't know who to believe. You don't, no. you, you just gotta, I mean, I, I can see when someone knows nothing about. Yeah, I, I know nothing about many things. Yeah. But I also know when someone's chatting out of their no, ass. No, no, right? you know what I mean. You, know, yeah. you, you, you have you have a bullshit detector. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of people don't have a, a bullshit five hundred dollar paywall right out the gate for a lesson is normally the first indication of that. Uh, well, oh, I, I think to a lot of people, you know, they see that paywall and they see the presentation, and they think, oh, well, this is probably legit. You yeah, know? I mean, like, I'm, I'm is, putting money into this, yeah. so that must like, mean if the, they're paying, the if, if, we, if I have to pay this much for this course, then it must bring results. Yeah, maybe yeah. Yeah, maybe I just can't see that because obviously we're doing like entertainment and well, you, see yeah, how, yeah. you see we've, how fake We've been are, on the right? internet for long enough to yeah, know what's yeah. bullshit or not, right? Also, yeah. you know, we're, we're producing content. I know I know what fake content looks like, <laughs> right? I, know, I can imagine how it was made yeah, and yeah, what, yeah, what exactly. tactics were used to push things. Yeah, right? because whenever, so I, 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 when, whenever I see one of those like marketing um, trailers of like, oh, you can learn X amount and earn X amount. I swear they they all have the same fucking template they do, they of do. the, and with the same inspiring stock. The first like year music. I made $3,000. The next month after that, I made $1 million. And it's like, oh, I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. <laughs> off, off mugging everyone off. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's like, it's, it's like the equivalent of going on a piracy site and then seeing the adverts of, I earned $10,000 from filling out surveys. And you're like, who the fuck actually clicks on this and believes this stuff? <laughs> yeah. it, is the, it, is the, it is the equivalent of like porn ads, right? It's just yeah. like- The I mean, fact, the fact no. that you're advertising on like, not even Pornhub, yeah. but like some shady hentai website. Eat this or, pill and your dick will go <laughs> three times the size in three I mean, months. It must, I, now that I'm thinking about it more, it must come from like targeting insecurities, right? Like absolutely, it must come from yeah. like, some people are already insecure about their financial amount. Yeah, right? like, absolutely. I'm sure there's other things like that. I mean, I just realized now, why would they offer dick pills? Oh, because people are pretty insecure about their dick exactly. not working, right? Yeah, exactly. so it's probably the same kind of- yeah. and, they guess, probably, and they don't know any better, right? They just think like, well, I want just the quickest, easiest, like most straightforward way to get a lot of money. A, oh, it, look at this ad. Yeah. Yeah, it's a harsh lesson in life to learn that Miracles truly don't exist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, I mean, it's. Yeah. I, I'm sure it's the same thought that you need to actually yeah. put the work and effort into. Yeah, if your dick don't work, done, that right? might just be. That might be a lifelong. Yeah, thing. exactly. <laughs> I don't think any amount of pills is going to save you, dude. Yeah, only, only so many times you can pop that Viagra. Yeah, right? exactly, like, exactly. No, I mean, I feel like it's the same reason why people fall for mar multi-level marketing scams. Mm. Apparently, because that's really bad in the U.S. I have a lot of friends from the U.S. who tell me that they know they have met lo loads of their friends from high school who tell them that constantly message him about really? hey yeah I, yeah yeah it's, I, I i don't know how bad it is because yeah. I'm, I'm connected to strange people who have strange friends but <laughs> maylene do you have friends who are multi-level marketing people you do alkaline water <laughs> I right, so you ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I have one case. My proof is is there. 
No, I mean, yeah, I I know a few people from America as well. You too. Do? Yeah, n- n- maybe not like directly, but you know people. Yeah, yeah, I, I know people, and even I think Sydney's mum has like on an off occasion messaged Sydney about this. Oh uh, no! About no. this, you know, <sighs> nice little scheme that can make her money, but yeah. you know, Sydney obviously it's, like it's steps in, and it's because I mean, it it really preys on people who are looking for that out, looking mm-hmm. for that out in their life. You know, the, you, when you're stuck at a dead end job and you are you're old enough where you feel like. You're, you're kind of stuck here. You're not young enough to do something crazy or just quit everything. Mm. You have responsibilities. You know, you kind of look for a way that can, yeah. that can that can get you out of this lifestyle, whatever that is. And sometimes, I mean, that's why, that's why yeah. it's- that's I mean, why don't get me wrong. Oh, go on, go on. oh no, I was gonna say like, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, in order to like get out of that kind of stuff, like risk taking is definitely a thing that you have to do, but- There's risk taking, there's making mistakes. Right, there's there's, there's responsible risk taking where you'll always have a fallback if it doesn't work out. And then there's just a risk take where you just YOLO it. Yeah. At the end of the day, right? Let's be honest, right? The way life works, if somebody had a million dollar idea, right? A stranger isn't gonna come up to you and pitch it to you. They're gonna fucking do it themselves. Yeah, exactly. Right, like if anyone comes up to you promising to make you money, that should be the biggest red flag in existence. No, nobody <laughs> nobody can promise to make you money. Yeah. Yeah. For, for example- And like, if, if that person also promising to make you that money isn't yeah. a billionaire themselves, why the fuck aren't they doing it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm. Which is when I realized where like, you know, when what I've realized growing up is, you know, my my mom and dad would give me, you know, advice about how to be successful in X and Y, and I love my mom and dad. But then I, I came to a point when I realized that some of the mentality, especially when managing money, was mm. was not wrong per se because that's what that's the mentality by. that they had to survive because that's the environment it was that just they different, were in. Yeah. yeah, it was a different environment, and yeah, I got yeah. to realize I'm growing up under different circumstances, and I have to, you know, I have to choose sometimes whenever some advice does pertain to me and when it's when, when it doesn't. And when someone's promising you to make money, that's like, okay, we're three successful YouTubers, mm-hmm. right? But as much as, as much as much advice as we can give, we cannot promise a random person to make them a successful YouTuber. Right, right. Yeah. We can give advice about how to increase their chances and how to, you know, how to help work the algorithm, for example. But, but we're not gonna drop like a million dollar video idea because yeah, otherwise there's, there's, we would just do that. There's no <laughs> way, there's no way that I can sit here and guarantee you that yes, I can give you advice to make you a uh, YouTuber that gets a million subscribers. Nobody can do that yeah. or earn X amount from YouTube. As far as I'm concerned, we were all very lucky in that case as well, right? <laughs> yeah, we had exactly. we had the we had the odds in our favor, but yeah. we, it yeah. was But nobody told good, us or like yeah. told us what to do. I mean, I mean like I, I I I preach by that you know you, uh, we we did a, we did a lot of things right. Uh, and we all were also very lucky in a lot of aspects. There wasn't yeah. there wasn't one without the other. Um, there are things that you can do to increase your chances of success and massively get the odds in you, into your favor. But to guarantee something, to guarantee success like that, it's pretty much impossible. Yeah, I think the the sad truth of life is, and I think you just realized this is like I think the stock market looks like a fucking casino to many people. And I, I mean, thought it was a, casino. a lot. A lot of the hedge funds do treat it like such. Yeah, yeah. exactly. At the end of the day, we we learned that today. Yeah. We learned that in the past week. <laughs> at the end of the day, it, it's truly a sad moment when you realize there isn't really a get rich quick scheme in no. life. It doesn't exist, no. right? And like, if you're looking for that, I feel like you're already setting yourself up to be yeah. disappointed or, or gonna if hurt If there yourself. was a scheme that could 100% give you like a success rate of like, you're gonna get famous, yeah. you yeah. wouldn't think everybody would be doing yeah, that? Yeah, it might make someone rich, probably not gonna be you. I, yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> like here's the thing, like do it, like reading up about a lot of like financial advice and everything that I have for the past, you know, the, the past week. Yeah. So this is, this is like, Take this with an exact- This take is this literally with a, three people who don't know what the fuck they're talking about financial, discuss financial advice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Please we're, do not take any of our advice. Yeah. Yeah. Not we, we do advice. have to make a disclaimer about this, but from what I've read and from what I've seen, it's, it seems like, you know, you, you can definitely increase your chances of, you know, being successful in life. But the problem is that a lot of, a lot of the, a lot of the legitimate advice I, I've seen, it, it seems to stem from a, uh, you don't get rich quick. It's all boring stuff. Mm. It's all put your money in safe places. It's the long wait, game most wait of the ten, time. Right. Wait 10 to 20 years and you'll be well off in life. And no, nobody wants to hear that advice. That shit's Every, boring. <laughs> that shit's boring. But you, you don't they wanna, wanna hear the, I went to sleep, woke yeah. up and I have a million dollars you, now, right? You don't like, wanna hear about fucking Roth IRAs or put your <laughs> put your money in fucking cash. I ISIS. want GameStop, I want like, GameStop Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. They, they, wanna, they wanna hear something exciting, but when you hear like boring financial advice, you just kind of tune out and you're like, yeah. oh, okay. So I can get rich, but just not now, but like in, 
10, yeah. 20, no, no, and, and more, more like when I retire. I'm gonna have a retirement fund. And thus Gant figured out why all the old people hold all the wealth in yeah. nearly every <laughs> developed country. Because <laughs> yeah. well, I, I noticed, right, when I was, I, I was just looking around for maybe like, I wanted to just talk to the financial advisors, not not like do anything or anything. I just wanted to talk to them mm. yeah. and just have like the free consultations and talk to them and yeah. just figure out what the fuck, like what do they do? What can yeah. they do? What's a good one? What's a right. bad one? Yeah. And I noticed on all of the websites, at least in the UK, every single one, right? was just like, it was picture of some some young man helping an old person out on a laptop, pointing at the monitor, like, and then it was it's all- like the stock image. Yeah, it was, it was like all, it was all just like pension advice, pension, 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 and like long-term, long-term, like none of it was like risky for young stocks. People. Yeah. yeah, none of it was for young people. Yeah. Cause, yeah. Cause you know, let's be honest, young people don't, <laughs> don't, don't yeah, do that don't shit. Don't do that shit. No, no. Um, so yeah, it was just, it was really, you kind of just like, a lot of the things that you'd noticed about the world start to fall in place when you start looking, you're like, ah, yeah. oh, okay, everything's starting to make sense now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Like uh, my best advice to anyone young watching this is um, if, if this conversation leads to anything, just go out and do your research. research Re actually yeah. read up about this shit because I-, I Don't fucking sign up to a $500 seminar. No, no, I will fucking, I will disown you. Don't, don't do that. Just read up about basic financial advice. Everything um, you need to know is free. Every, yeah, that's the thing. Everything yeah. you need to know is free. And the only thing stopping you is your own laziness. Cause yeah. that's, that is me reading, me reading up about this felt like I had just gained five levels of, uh, of info that I should have known yeah. when I was in my twenties. Yeah. And I'm just like, why Why didn't I know this shit before? I, yeah. I was stupid, I was lazy. Yeah. And yeah, don't, yeah. don't expect to get rich off the fucking GameStop stonks and shit like that. Like <laughs> the road is gonna be long <laughs> and probably really boring. Yeah, yeah I'm exactly. investing in learning Japanese so that I can become a translator for, for Yakuza. And then I'll <laughs> translate the wrong number, liking the great pretender and profit hundreds <laughs> of millions of dollars for myself. <laughs> thus being the best investment of ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's gonna take that plan now. Don't yeah. fucking steal my get rich quick idea, I swear to God. You gave away the million dollar idea. Bilingual people don't do it, all right? Yeah. I'm just like writing it down. <laughs> Joey's like, shit, write that down. Joey's call up his financial yeah. advisor. Connor yeah. said this it's scheme, like, you won't believe it. Does anyone know any Yakuza? <laughs> <laughs> any Yakuza with cross, cross country gang information that we could- Does any Yakuza need any translation work? <laughs> <laughs> I'm your man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, All right. Well, boys, I have something very special planned today. Oh, okay. They said it wouldn't happen. The comments said it couldn't be done, but I finally did it. I wrote a PowerPoint presentation. Oh. <laughs> For all you the different ways. You actually did it? You how actually many, did it. How many it. weeks ago was that? This was like at week like 10 or something. Yeah, it was like episode like nine and or something. And I was like, right? a, what? Just, that was just like, you, you know when you say something offhand mm. and then the- It was an offhand comment. Yeah, yeah, it was an offhand yeah. comment. And then the community and the Reddit would just like never let you forget that you said that <laughs> so, one thing. To explain what Garn is talking about, I don't know which episode it was. Play the flashback, Mudan. What I gotta do is I gotta, some episode, I need to bring a presentation of all the different ways people have tried to hit on me. <laughs> like I gotta, Please. it's like, it's a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> the most interesting ways it's happened. So I, I thought I, I made a little presentation with a fun, little, some fun images to explain all the different ways that you can be. So I guess I should pull the laptop up. So are you, are you gonna are you about to break down the ninety three percent? Break right down the ninety three percent. It's not the ninety three percent anymore. It's like fifty okay. fifty now. This is how but. you can also be the ninety three percent. Sign up. First month is a hundred dollars. I want to preface that this is not my laptop, as it has stickers on it. So it's yeah, this is my beautiful it's laptop. YouTuber guide to being hit on all the ways <laughs> YouTuber can be oh hit. Oh my on. god! Wow, this is bringing me back <laughs> to like high school, <laughs> dude. You're you okay? You've actually done a PowerPoint my presentation. presentation. I did. I did. So is uh, this your TED talk, dude? This is my TED talk. Ted didn't invite me, so I thought okay. we'll make my own. Be before we start, how much effort did you put into this? Not that much. <laughs> okay. So this is like, okay, so basically, I, these are all true things that have happened at one point or another. Okay. Um, and I, I didn't write all the whole details out. So basically they're more prompts to, for my memory to be like, ah, yeah, this is what happened. All right, let me explain. This is like a real TED talk. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. This I mean, isn't I'm, like the high school, I'm reading off the PowerPoint no, 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 presentation. No, no, no. I, there's <laughs> literally like two <laughs> sentences just to remind me. Wow. Oh, it's this story, okay. Um, but yeah, I do, I do want to preface before we begin. Um, I'm not trying to make out that I'm some kind of like fucking sex god that can, no one can resist. It's literally just when you have a X amount of subscribers, obviously there's gonna be two people out there that are stupid enough to think that I'm attractive and try and hit on me. Right, okay. So right. Just you're you're being very there. humble then. I'm, yeah. I'm, I do not think that I am like X hot or whatever. This just happens with the job, I think. All right. People don't try it with you because you know, you guys are basically married, all right. Not to each other, of course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Maylene? 
Where well, Lee's what? like, I love the gay talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Like, tell, tell, tell me more about how what they're you, married. What do, you, what do you expect to see on this list? Uh, what excitable. Oh God, just, I, I don't know. Uh, basically, I'm just looking forward to this presentation just being a massive excuse to say, I'm not a fuck boy, but. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> this is, you know, op, you know, obviously didn't reciprocate, you know, but because most of these are strange. Yeah, so, okay. Oh, uh, I've also accompanied, uh, I just downloaded a bunch of stock images I didn't pay. I didn't. I didn't pay for the license. I shouldn't say that, but I just downloaded the bunch. They'll, so. Thank you. Thank you. Getty images. Yeah. Yeah. Thank thank you get <laughs> so that could just accompany it, just for fun. Why yeah, not? Because okay. right? I love stock sure. images. Okay. So we have the classic to start with. You're probably what is that? So this is, as I've said, a text to my personal number. Okay. What? How did they get your personal number? That's what I want to know, Gon. I don't know. <laughs> so this happened about, I think, four or five months into my YouTube career, if you will. Okay. Yeah. I thought, great, I haven't leaked anything. So I don't like, do what, 2015? Streams. Yeah, I was wondering how the fuck someone had done this. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it turned out at the time uh, I had an iPhone and the email that I listed was actually like my email linked to my iPhone account. <laughs> right. And someone had just connected the dots of like, oh, let's just put this email in my iPhone right. and text Connor. I don't use iPhone anymore. Oh, that's how, because they didn't, they did They did the iMessage thing. Mm. Right, right, right. So I deleted that email. So yeah. it doesn't exist Immediately. anymore. Yeah, because I was like, fuck this. But at the time it was the very creepy to wake up to a text from an American number being like, hi, is this Connor, by the way? And it's not exactly being hit on, but stopped it before it could get there. Right, so right. Yeah. That's the first one. I think it's a stock image. Which is on, I've, actually, I've, I've actually had something similar happen to me. <laughs> Admire my stock image. I have a lot gun. of questions about the stock image. <laughs> what, what is, what is, is there a potato <laughs> there? What is that stock image? I don't know. These are all strange <laughs> stock images. So that she's just saying no to the potato on the back. <laughs> but like, yeah, I, I've, I've had something, I've had similar things happen to me where yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna name what uh, messaging app or whatever it was on. Right. But uh, like, I, I've realized that you could find my username, obviously pretty easily through this messaging app. Mm. And I, I would get like people adding me and just messaging me randomly on it. And then it, <laughs> and that, 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 was, that was a humble experience to realize, oh, okay, I can't I just, fucked use, I, yeah. yeah, I fucked up. I can't use this right. email for everything now. All right, the classy, the fan mail, okay. the actual handwritten Letter. Oh, oh, like physical yeah, fan mail. Oh, okay, okay. Was this sent to your PO box? This was sent to my PO box. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, so they I was about to ask how they found your address. I, I was yeah. like, PO box. You know, had okay. a had a you know had a few letters that were asking if I was you know because they would know what conventions I'm going to and then they would say, hey, is it possible that maybe we could you know go on a date or something? <laughs> and obviously, you know, I never got that even when <laughs> I was single. <laughs> no. no never. What? I, maybe the time has changed, Jay. Yeah. yeah. Back, YouTubers weren't cool back then, you know. <laughs> right. This is like two, three years ago. This used to happen. It didn't right. happen that often, but like people would attach their numbers and like, and, and they- I never had and then they you would, have that? I mean, by the time when I first started really blowing up on the anime community, I was already pretty much dating Sydney. Oh yeah, that's And true, yeah. you know, if, if, if like Sydney makes a, let's, she, let's <laughs> say she marks a territory. She wards off <laughs> the laser eyes. <laughs> the, the predators. Also, uh, I added a stock image to this one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it's, a, it's a guy with a this beer. This man's like doing like a parallel park drift while pouring a beer. I the guess. classy, the classy. On a highway. <laughs> and then this one is the modern, the fan email. Obviously you get emails. Okay, yeah, yeah we yeah. still get that. It's yeah. classic, you, know, yeah. you can yeah, get yeah. that all that, the time. That was the right? classic. Yeah. Um, and then this is the, the stonk image because this is me putting the emails in the trash. Uh, when you send them to me. I thought you meant this is all the fan mails we get for trash taste. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I hate you, Jeff. It's not fucking, it's not funny. All pretty uh, standard so far for YouTubers yeah, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, next we have uh, the, the extra classy. I would have a, I used to do Patreon fan letters where you could pay to be pen pals with me. And, okay, uh, that, that sounds does, like that doesn't so sound like a nightmare effort. is about to happen. That, yeah. When I made that, I didn't think it was gonna. So it's not on there anymore. But yeah. it used to, I used to think that it was like, oh, this is such a cool way to connect with me. Yeah, and I didn't realize about like the logistics. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you never do with Patreon. You never think nah, about the logistics until you realize. Oh, I have oh. to do this every month. Okay. Yeah, basically, yeah. I, I agreed to write like twenty letters a month, which. Uh, I'm not good at writing either, and I don't like writing. Yeah. So writing one one letter for me takes like thirty minutes. I've seen your, I've it. seen your yeah. handwriting. Hate, so it's I not hate <laughs> writing so much. So it was just painful, and it was really frustrating as well. Sorry, I'll, I'll go on to how I got hit after, but yeah. it was frustrating as well because like people would join Patreon for like one month and leave. So I would send out a letter that would just be like, "Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Tell me about yourself," and then not get a response. But I'd have to write, <laughs> but I'd have to write like seven of those letters a month, yeah, every yeah, month. Yeah. And I was like doing them all by hand. How my, how, how long was the letter itself? Uh, like a page or two. Jeez, Jeez, that's a long- For how much a month? 
I think it was on like the forty dollar tier, but that was included with the voice message. So, like, as well. how much? How much would uh, let's let's break this down cost to effort wise? How much not, would it not. take you to long write a letter? Not long. I mean, <clears throat> I guess if they paid forty dollars for thirty minutes worth of work, but I always get distracted and I couldn't focus because I just didn't want to be doing it. Right? Yeah, right, right. so it was awful. But yeah, I had I had someone as well. Same same with the fan letter who was like. Um, they, they like, it was this really weird situation where I'm not really sure what happened because I was just being like, ha, ah, yeah, cool. I like Pokemon too. I like <laughs> these things. And I would tell, because I would try and be honest and try yeah. and like make a friendship with them. Yeah. yeah. And then they were like, they replied one time being like, oh, yeah. So uh, I told my, my co workers at work that uh, I have a boyfriend and I, I said that it was you. And I was like, and then they asked, like, is that okay? And I was like, uh, sure. I don't give a fuck. Like, it's, right. like I'm not gonna go around. I'm not gonna go around saying that. Yeah. You, you can say that. Like, I was Yo, like, she, she 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 brings up the Sea Dog VA YouTubers. That's me. Yeah, he's right. like, hey, that's you right. want to see my boyfriend? That's yeah. my boy. That's yeah. my look boy. At, right look there. at that guy. I'm like, I'm Sebastian. He's he's I'm, his name's Sebastian. I'm, I'm just thinking. I'm like, is that a brag? Because if they pull up my videos, half of them is either, either gonna be me reading BL or <laughs> me uh, in the cosplay. Yeah, yeah. And I think I think they were from like Midwest somewhere. Yeah. So very yeah. conservative state. So I couldn't imagine they would take too kindly to me being like naked in my room, basically going, ah, you know, like, so yeah, that was interesting. That was fun. Um, also, I, it's a boyfriend that never like fucking responds to like messages or anything it was a, like it's that. It's a right? boyfriend that- It's a one way uh, boyfriend. It's a boyfriend that, yeah, that replies uh, once a month via mail. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, I ended up getting rid of that because uh, yeah, just stuff like that. That sounds like effort. Yeah. And also just way too much effort. And yeah. this is the stock image to accompany it. Oh, um, this lovely. Is somebody what, I what is that bug? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this, was, uh, this was me writing the reply email to the hitman that they hired. If I didn't say yes, that okay. we were dating. Um, right. And then, yeah, this is the obvious. This is called nutting during fan calls as I've popped. I made a video about this. You should go watch it. Yeah. yeah. It's really old now. I, I, I know the story. But you can yeah. Know. So essentially, there was this time where I was doing a fan call as Hitalia characters, which yeah, that sounds great. like cringe already. All yeah. Right. So yeah, I was doing on. it. I was doing it with someone else who was doing another voice, mm -hmm. and we were on the call with the person, and I thought like there's some weird breathing sounds coming from them, but like I was like, huh. It's just a little weird, but I didn't think much of it. Was it Maylin? You bring a Daki Maka of someone from like Vampire Night. Yeah. She'll, she'll get like that. So like, yes. So like what happened was is that we were on this call. I thought ah, that's weird. And then when we got off the call, it was only like six, seven minutes. All right. I was like, was that, was that weird? That call was weird, right? And he was yeah. like, oh no, I don't, I don't think so. But I was editing the audio. Yeah. So I go back and I listen to the audio and I'm like, She's definitely nodding. That ain't like, that isn't like, that isn't like hyperventilating breath. That is like, yeah. it was like slow, deep breaths. Like, <laughs> like, that, <right>? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like that. And I was like, what the fuck? So I made a video about it, but I, I pitch shift it and changed it. And it sounds even creepier. It sounds like a two year old now. Yeah. Oh, God. Scary. Yeah. Cause I wanted to protect their, you know, protect their identity, obviously. Cause yeah, I, right, I don't right. know if it was, I don't know if it wasn't, but like, yo, we don't say, it don't sound good. Yeah. 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 But yeah, there's all I had cut, cut a lot of people. So uh, that's a bit of yikes there. Yeah, that's yeah. A bit of yikes. I did, I did, How'd you handle that? You, just, you just, you're, you're playing character, right? So you, I'm. Would you when you do those calls, you're in character. So like when people would say stuff, I would reply as if like in character, like to reject them. I just, I just like to imagine he's just like you just hear like. <sighs> well, no, Wait, which, which, like pasta, which, Ita yeah. which Italian <laughs> character were you playing? I was playing France from Italia. <laughs> But he's like a, he's like a, uh, I, I've never watched Italia, but I assumed he was like a bit of a player from what I understood. But like, I, would have, I would have loved it if he was playing like Italy and he was just like, he's like no, he, they were playing Italy. Oh, yeah, they, pasta, they, they, yeah. So I was playing France, they were yeah. playing, yeah, they were playing Italy. They were playing Italy. Pasta. <laughs> 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 This episode is sponsored by EJ Anime Store. Kataka's official online anime merch store that specializes in delivering the newest anime merch to overseas anime fans directly from Japan. Be sure to check out the pre-order deadline shown on screen so you don't miss out on today's items. What do we have for today's items? Look at all these beautiful items. <gasps> we have. Look at look at all that, man. Look, what, recently, what are you holding, Connor? I've recently just become an art appraiser. Really? And I have to say, I've added this piece to my collection, gentlemen, because right. it's a steal. This wonderful piece here, as I've been instructed multiple times to pronounce correctly by my lane, <laughs> is Sayakano How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend, Utaha Kasumi Gaoka. <laughs> Did I get it right? Obviously, Connor is a right? massive Sayakano yeah. fan. With block print. Now, I'm as a big fan of the show. Yes. I got to say, gentlemen, yeah. following... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as a big fan of this, I have to say, following Megumi and Erori 
Is that how you say it? Yeah, Eddie. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. What a fucking tongue twister name. God damn. <laughs> the third installment of, oh my God, Saikano <laughs> Ukiyoe Woodblock Prince series portraying Utaha is finally here. The wait is over. These are brought to life using Japanese craftsmanship techniques originating in the 17th century. God damn, that is old. And the background artwork is actually connected. So all three illustrations lined up next to each other form one large picture. Isn't yeah. that wow. wonderful? Is that, that looks beautiful. Is that Connor. part of the appraisal? It is. And we also got the Konosuba Megamin Anime Opening Edition. Okay, I mean, look at how beautiful this is. That's actually one of the dopest Megamin figures. Like, I have a couple of Megamin right, figures. That, that, that is easily the coolest that one. Is yeah. dope. This is Kara Ani's new figure label, CA Works, bringing you this beautiful Konosuba figure, portraying Megamin, unleashing her explosion magic while falling from the sky. I think you mean explosion. I'm magic. sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm God, fake, fake, fan. fake Connor Super fan Fake right fan. here. She can explode my wallet if you know and what I mean. <laughs> with that we also got the Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation Roxy McGurdia figurine right look here. Look at that. Look at which that. actually looks kind of dope. Again, she does the, look dope. Love the base right there. We also got the ReZero Frederica Bauman Tea Party version. And we've also got the fake Khalid <laughs> Liner Prisma Ilya Miyu Edelfeld's wedding bikini version. God that that is God. Connor's favorite. Yeah, yeah that know. is Connor's favorite right yeah. there. You love that, right? You love that. Well, I do love it. So <laughs> I'm going to go and check out these items on ejanimestore.com while they're still available. Or click the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, follow them on Facebook and Twitter at EJ Anime Store so you don't miss their giveaways and limited time offers. Back to the episode. Woo! Yeah, and, and like, to be fair, it would happen fa fairly often, but I nearly always cut them because it was just cringe. Like, yeah. yeah. Would just be like, I want to date Sebastian. And I'd be like, no, no, no. No, no one is worthy of me like that. I would like, I, cause I would reply cause, cause like, it's really like, dude, when you're, cause I, when I'm in the zone and I would do these calls, like I, I would like fully believe in that moment that I was like that. Like, yeah. cause you have to, if you want to do it good. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you're playing a character, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so when people would say stuff like that, I would just like snarkily just insult them straight away. Cause yeah. they loved it. Yeah. Like it was, and it was fun. Like everyone, dude, imagine being an asshole. And everyone's like, oh my God, he's amazing. How long did you do this for? These calls, yeah. I did them for like two, three years. How? <laughs> Just Honestly, how? No, because when it was, when it went well, yeah. it was really fun because people had such a genuine like, happy response, right. really yeah. great. It was just, you had to just deal with some weird shit. That's fair. That's fair. Fairly yeah. often. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, all right, I'm a head out. Like this, <laughs> like the <this> stock image <laughs> uh, from that, that that call. Am I right? I'm only joking, Malin. You were, you're probably never that bad, right? Yeah. No, no, she was. She still <laughs> is. She is worse. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> I've seen her when she gets around Utano Prince. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next is the uncomfortable, as if none of them were already. Yeah. Right. Okay. The, the last one wasn't oh. uncomfortable. Uh, no, I can deal with that. Okay. Because that's in character. Yeah. That's not Connor. That's Sebastian. Yeah, yeah. That's France. That's not my problem. <laughs> that's, that's, France. that's Francis' problem. Man, she's getting real hot for France there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the, so I, I, up until very recently, I used to do Patreon fan calls and- uh, mm -hmm. not, I used, not in character. No, as me, as yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. So I would offer, and it's gonna sound like a lot, for like $100 an hour uh, to have a call with me. Right. But then if you ask any YouTubers around our size, they'll be like, wow, that's too little. You yeah, because I mean? it's just, I know it sounds absurd. It sounds stupid. My parents all thought it was dumb. They were like, people people pay to speak to you, Connor. <laughs> That's absurd. <laughs> My parents got the same reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, why would anyone want to pay to speak to you, Connor? <laughs> like, mom, fuck off, mom. <laughs> um, so anyway, up until recently, I used to do Patreon fan calls, like mm -hmm. well, like I said. Uh, I would have like, I'd call it like generations. I don't really know why, but I, people would always leave in mass and join in mass. And there was only 10 spots on my call. So only yeah. 10 people at a time can get these calls. All right. um, and I would only maybe have like one person who was on it for like two plus years. But the rest of the time it was like rotating people. And like, I had some really fucking uncomfortable ones that I haven't really spoke about. Cause I'm just like, this is so fucking weird, but mm. I mean, I may as well speak about it now. Yeah. So this is one time, this is by far the most uncomfortable um, where I'd done two calls with a person mm. and they were like, okay. They were like, oh, all right. That seemed pretty decent. It seemed pretty normal. They were from, from Vegas, you know, from okay. Uh, okay. Aki represent. Yeah, I don't know why you're pointing at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not from Vegas. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> and uh, they were like, I, sorry, I didn't do webcam. It was only ever voice. But yeah. one time they were like, can we do webcam? And I was like, all right, sure. I mean, a one-off, right? Like, I'll, what, what? what's the worst that could happen? Yeah, of webcam? course. Yeah. Yeah. What's the yeah. worst? Can? You guys know what happened. Yeah. But, yeah. So, and I'm like, okay, sure, sure. Let's do it. Let's, let's do webcam, whatever. You, you know, you've been, you've been on the Patreon for a while. We can do this. So we boot up the, the call. I turn on my webcam. She turns, she turns on her webcam. Uh, yeah, she's naked. Just fully naked, but wearing like body paint. But like you can, like <laughs> the look on Ash's face. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked. It's fucked. Oh my it's just god! Like, 
<laughs> luckily, you know, she was overage, which is yeah. d- dodged the well, thing. Luckily, 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 thank God. Otherwise, finna finna get arrested immediately. Yeah. But I was like, yo, what the fuck? And then yeah. uh, I was like, oh, oh no, the connection's breaking up. And then like, <laughs> yeah, like I was oh, like, can you hear me? Hello? I was like, I was like, gosh, gosh, Hello, I'm, I'm going through the tunnel. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just, that, just that, literally, that, that. literally the moment it happened, like it flashed on the screen. I was like, smash the red, red fucking end Discord call. I was like. <laughs> Fuck, man, you know how hard oh, British internet, man, it keeps going out. Oh, yeah. I'm so mad at them, man. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> you gotta, gotta, stay, gotta stay on voice, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My internet can't handle Damn, the, webcam. the webcam. Fuck, my webcam just imploded. So I was like, fuck, that's awful. It was yeah. terrible. And I had some other uncomfortable things come up and you yeah. know, generally just, just, just not very good things happen that was just like, why, why are they doing this? Like they would just hit on you in really uncomfortable ways. And, you know, and, and to the point where it was just like, you know, some people were think would think that, you know, you would meet some people who had clearly never been rejected in their, their, their circle, right? Mm, yeah. And that they pay, they pay me to talk to me. And then I'm like, well, I've never been rejected. So it's, it's not gonna start now. Right, so right. They think I'm gonna like, well, I'm, I, this is a work thing for me. I'm there doing business. You know, yeah. I'm just- it's, It sounds like you had a fucking babe station call center going <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. Honestly, that, cause like, it's great. 90% of people, it was chill. It was just talking to them, give, maybe give them a bit of YouTube yeah. advice, maybe help them with things. Super normal calls. It's just like some people were like, bro, this is my in. This is my way <laughs> to get to get like Connor to like hang out with me yeah. or stuff. And like I know all sorts of weird shit. Like people yeah. would go around and um, like, I think recently I, I used to do like voice recordings. I, mm. I still do to be fair. Yeah. I, they're really easy, but people would go around, take the voice recordings and say, look, me and Connor are best friends. Uh, like Connor, Connor, me, I have a message from Connor worse. saying hi to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're kind of like best <laughs> friends. And I'm like, do people not like, why do people do this? Why do you think you're getting clout? Are you comfortable with that? That's whatever. I wouldn't be comfortable. I would with not that. be comfortable. I, with I don't that. know. Like that, that that's me. Someone going Listen, around saying also- that they're a friend of mine to like get their way is like not cool. Yeah. With me. I mean, it's it's also you know it's big brain because you know I could be like anytime I let's say right. God forbid, I say something stupid on a live stream. We're like, no, 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 it's just recording it. It's recording it. Patreon recording, not me. What's that? What's that? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, now when Colin gets canceled in two years- When I get canceled, I'll be like, guys, no, that was, just, a, that was a script. That was a script. I was just, like a just, watch, yeah. just watch this one clip get linked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I was, I'm play, kidding. I was playing France from Italia no, the I whole mean, time. I mean, yeah. I, I, never, I never record anything inappropriate. Yeah. It's just like, obviously, because some people want like a, uh, uh, an uplifting message because right. they've been yeah. down recently. And I'm more than happy to do that. Cause yeah. I'm like, you know, yeah. if me giving you a voice message saying, hey man, just, just, uh, you know, things will get better. Just, just keep trying. Uh, I mean, I've, I've done that before as well, mm. but at the same time, if I found out that that person- Oh, I, go- I don't was- give them voice messages anymore. Yeah, well, I was going around telling people, hey, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm best friends with Giga. I'm best friends with Gone. And I'm just mm. like, okay, get the fuck out of my <laughs> life, <laughs> please. Well, I mean, that's why <laughs> I, 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 I emailed them basically saying, hey, uh, yeah, yeah, you're, I'm removing you from Patreon. What the fuck are you doing? This mm, is sad. Yeah. Like, yeah. W- like, did you- Well, yeah, of course. Like, w- That's not cool. Because yeah. it wasn't, the, the worst thing was that she wasn't going around to like her close friends. For some reason, she was going around sending them to other YouTubers. Ugh. Saying, I'm friends with Connor. Look, I have this message. And, yeah. and we, unfortunately, some of those YouTubers <sighs> didn't know that I was doing the right, Patreon voice right. message. Even but though, I know. mean, I, I, I've gone through that as well, mm. where yeah, I've had people going around saying that they know me and saying that they have been friends with me when mm. they weren't just to try and get in with other people. And yeah. it's like, like that's that's the biggest fucking red flag for me. But that's why I, that's yeah. kind of one of the big reasons, as well as time, is why I removed yeah. the ability to call me on Patreon. I don't do it anymore. You can't have a phone yeah. call with me. I mean, I, I think the worst thing that happened to me was uh, it literally happened to me at a convention, where you know I, I had a guy who was going around telling people, like, telling companies that they knew me and that, oh, that no. they, they were trying to use that as an in. That's and that's it, that's somehow even worse, isn't it? When they're going around to like companies. Because they're potentially ruining your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. But they're also trying to profit themselves, yeah, right? Yeah, see, see I, I can deal with someone being a fucking creep. I can, yeah. that, that, that's yeah, inshallah. Yeah. I can I can, I can can just immediately shut that down, yeah. right? If someone does yeah. that, that's repairing I have to do. Yeah, right? yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah. horrible, yeah. yeah, yeah Luckily, yeah. you know, that's I why- I guess that's why it triggers me so much. Because yeah. I, I, I hear that and I'm just, I just think, to yeah, like the shit I had to deal with then. I, I get, this, get, the yeah. audacity of this bitch. I would, man. I would gladly have someone hit on me on a call a yeah. hundred yeah. times rather than them go to a company saying that, that we're friends. Yeah, right? yeah, you know what I mean? Cause like, I can, you know, that's fine. Don't do that. Do, do not do that. Yeah. That is the biggest asshole move you could do. <laughs> we have gone in uh, 50 years. <laughs> as the, it's Egg. <laughs> I, I don't know what the stock image is. What the fuck did you get this image from? I don't know. What is this? I don't know. Just, it, is, it, this, is this like Asian Humpty Dumpty? <laughs> <laughs> you type in egg and this is what comes up. <laughs> 
Um, so um, I, the, this is the real. I was at a coffee shop one time mm, okay. in good old Swansea. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd recently just broke up with my ex-girlfriend at the time. I was very sad. And so right. my housemate took me out for coffee. Mm. Right. And we were just like, you know, he just wanted to talk to me and, and just, you know, keep me up, uplifted, you know? And I, I love coffee. I love talking. So this is the perfect combination. Right. And whilst I was at the coffee shop, dressed in like sweatpants, miserable, I, some person, some what looked to be like a 15 year old girl, I shit you not. Mm. This is by the way, I was like, I was like 20 comes up to me and I, and I know they're coming to me. You know how I know? Oh. They got a fucking, they have like the, the scout leader, scout regiment backpack from Attack on Titan. Oh. And I, I saw, I saw them looking at me. I could see this eye contact not breaking coming up to me. Right, yeah. right. And no joke, right? She was like, can I sit down and join you for coffee? And, and, and she's like 15 and her friend is like right there. And I'm like, what is happening? Uh, I think that's like kind of inappropriate. Like, I don't really know you. I don't really want to do this. I mean, it's not really being hit on because she's underage, but like, yeah, yeah. it was just kind of yeah. uncomfortable. And yeah. it's just like, what? I thought like a picture, sure. Okay, I'm totally fine with doing yeah. pictures or signing anything you want. I don't care about that. But yeah. like, you want to just sit down and start don't, talking yeah, next don't to Don't invite yourself to like that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. You know? yeah, I don't know. It's weird, but they're a kid. They didn't know any better. Yeah. So. I mean, I, that's happened to us a few times. I would I would mm. think. It, it's, it, it's happened at conventions quite a bit. Yeah, it oh, happens at like conventions. I, I expect it, but like oh, we yeah. go outside just chilling. And I was I was pretty beat up at the time and I was really <laughs> yeah, yeah. You wanted the best mental state. I was really <laughs> fucking sad and having like yeah. a, a girl come up to me just being like, hey, can I sit next to you. I'm like, I, I really don't want to. Right I don't now. want to do anything with do any anything. women anymore. <laughs> it was yeah. literally like the day of as well. Yeah. So oh, I was like, God. fuck it. I was like miserable. Yeah. I, well, because I think I think about I think about that, and I think you know she she'll probably look back at that period of her cringe. life and just fucking cringe. Yeah. yeah. Because I I can I can like not not That's not saying really not saying not saying you should do it or not saying you you know I'm justifying it or anything because you shouldn't do that. Mm. But I I know that you know when when you're that young and you feel like you, you have a better. parasocial yeah. relationship, you don't you don't know about this stuff, yeah. especially you don't know about you know the social boundaries. And mm. she'll probably grow up and she'll look back at that and she, she'll wake up in a cold mm. sweat. Yeah. <laughs> Think, oh, why yeah, the fuck I, did I do I, that? I, literally, you can approach me anywhere. I don't even, even if it's in a fucking toilet, I don't really give a shit. Mm. Just as long as I'm not pissing yeah. or, I'm, or I'm eating or drinking. <laughs> yeah, like, please, please don't do it when I'm pissing. While uh, I'm pissing and eating, just please don't. Like, yeah. cause I just want to finish my meal. It's what I look forward to it's, most it's, in the it's day. It's the few times where we can yeah. have like full privacy. So just it's like give I, us that privacy. My, it's not even that, I just want to enjoy my meal. Yeah, you know, yeah, I just yeah. love food so much. I, I don't want to have to think about, oh fuck, I gotta take a picture of my, my steak's going cold. Come yeah. But yeah, no, and this is the stock image to go along with. This is the <laughs> white at a coffee shop now. I, I had a, I had a, you know, I told the story about my dude yeah, who stopped me. The story, this yeah. is the exact face he made when yeah. he saw me. Yo, next to the Joey. He's like, yo, it's Joey. I'm like, I dude, my yo, that's your dick. Yeah, I'm I like, dude, my dick's out, man. Anywhere, like, yeah. man. It's like, don't pog at me. My dick's out right now, man. Like, stop. <laughs> I you literally pog champs your dick. <laughs> uh, I, I, I've, I've mentioned the next story before, but yeah, this is the hotel key card one where someone oh, gave me that yeah. hotel oh, key yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. That um, shit was fucking crazy. This is yeah. the stock image that I chose to go along with it. Um, <laughs> What? Did you know, actually, this is the same trio. Is that Ludwig? Uh, no, no, <laughs> that no, no. Looks, Tell no, me that doesn't no. look like Ludwig. This is the girlfriend. This is the girlfriend meme, right? This is the girlfriend meme with the guy oh, looking the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I recognize the, the guy's face. It's yeah. the exact same model from <laughs> yeah. the girlfriend. Um, so yeah, to those who don't know and don't want to go back and watch the episode, essentially what happened was is uh, someone uh, gave me a piece of paper uh, and they were like, this is for you. And on it was the, was the hotel key card and room number that was signed and they and, and it was said uh there was like times where I could go. Right. And uh there because there's a person at the desk next to me who was helping, you know, manage the cause when you get the money you had it to them and yeah, 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 yeah. and they were like, bruh. And I'm like, Do you want it? I don't want it. <laughs> like, <laughs> needless to say, I, I, I immediately gave it to the hotel reception when I was done signing things. Yeah. yeah. Right. And they were like, Why do you have this? And I'm like, I oh, long story. Um and this one's called the bold. It's a hotel door. The bold? We have the hotel okay. door. We have, so I told you one story mm. about how um, there was uh, one hotel room where I was on the bottom floor and we came out and there was the two girls there at yeah. like midnight. Yeah. But there was another time where I came back and this wasn't as creepy. It was just kind of weird. It was like middle of the day, like 1 p.m. Was and this at an anime convention? This was at an anime. Of course it was an anime okay. convention. Okay. What, where else would it be? <laughs> so, um, I think, I don't know how someone found out it was my room. I was I was pretty careful. Like I, I made sure like, I sound so fucking stupid. Like make sure no one was following me, right? <laughs> As Gaunt should have. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, you, this is why I do it, even though it sounds like no, I'm fucking, it, 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 it's, like it's, I'm CIA. Like, I, I, yeah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have got it. Like, I, I wouldn't have understood until I got followed back mm, to my room. Mm, mm. Yeah, I just I just don't want people to know. Yeah. yeah. Right, like, you know. Um, and there was just like, 
for some reason, like one girl who looked like in her thirties, mm. just like, you know how the door frame is like, like this, just sitting like, like this at my door frame, like blocking the door. What? And I was like- Well, like the door's here. <laughs> yeah, so that's the frame. No, yeah. that's the frame. Okay. Yeah. And this is the other frame. So, so they're, they were they're, like, they're, they're just there right in front of your door. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, hello. <laughs> uh, and they were like, oh, I like your videos. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh no. I'm like social skills, 10,000. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, awesome. Like, you want a picture? And they were like, yeah, sure. That'd be awesome. And like, we took a picture and then they just left. And I was like, cool. I don't have to say anything. Yeah, All right, yeah, yeah. awesome. Cause I was like, I didn't know what was going on. I was like, why are you in front of my hotel room door? We are on like the fifth floor. Yeah, and this yeah. is like nowhere near the elevator or anything. Like this is really far away. I think yeah. maybe they wanted, I don't know if they knew me, uh, obviously they did when I, when, but my first thought was like, are they just chilling here? Cause I, I get it. Cause sometimes the, the, the lobby's really crowded and shit. Mm. You want to just go to the, the alleyway or whatever in the fucking rooms. Cause they're long. Right. Yeah. I was just like, oh, the, how did you know this was my door? That's really concerning. I wanted to ask her, never found out. So to this day, I don't know why she was in front of my door. I don't know. <laughs> What she wanted. I've, I've, Again, I've, yeah. this isn't a very good guy to getting hit on. This is just strange ways people approach me. Yeah, this, this sounds like <laughs> this. This sounds like a lot of strange things that have happened about you getting stalked. Just gonna say hit on. Just we're gonna put it all under the umbrella. Wait, this, this is this is the YouTube clickbait. We're gonna say hit on in the yeah. This is actually YouTube clickbait. Yeah, yeah, this is true. <laughs> this is true. Uh, and then this is the stock image that I found for this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is. <laughs> <laughs> Although there is that one rip, story. Ripped all the audio only listeners. Yeah. This does make me say. realize about the person who isn't on the list, but the person who named their, their baby after me. Have we told that story? Oh, we haven't told yeah. that story. <laughs> yeah. So back in like when I was story. really doing Black Butler a lot, there was this one person um, who, oh, this is it. Yes, I remember. I just remember the canonical order in my head. Um, I went to the Black Butler meetup the one time. The canonical order. The canonical order of the, of the This is head cannon. This is head cannon. This is head cannon order. So this, I, this ain't the filler arc, no, it's no, the no, canon. No. So what happened was is I, this was like my first ever AX. And I can't remember how long I was doing YouTube for, but I thought it would be cool just to go to the Black Butler meetup and just like be like, say hi, hey man. Like, mm. yeah, I'm, I'm the guy on YouTube who does all the Black <laughs> Butler stuff, right? Right. Um, and just say hi and just, you know, it was just, just to meet them mm -hmm. and just meet all the fans of Black Butler and just be like, yeah, this is fucking sick. And they were yeah. all really nice. And there's one person who's like really, really nice. Super, super nice. And um, yeah, and, and she was really nice. We got loads of pictures with her and she's a little, little intense, you know, but that's fine. You're mm. used to that. Yeah. I mean, all Black Butler fans are quite intense to yeah, be fair. Yeah, yeah. But like, cause some of them are like, some of them are just that, don't give a shit about, yeah, yeah, you course, know, like, like watching my videos, but there was a good, I'd say like half there were like, oh my God, yo. Mm. Um, Cause you were the black butler guy back then. Well, you? yeah, I mean, I, I, in terms of YouTube, I was the only one making content about black butler. Yeah. Had, Cause like, it was like, how many years after black butler are dead? And yeah, I feel like I almost made like a mini like renaissance of the fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, in terms of Western. Yeah. Um, Cause it's like the community became way more active and like on Kind of like and what uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridge series did for the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime mm. back in the day. I mean, I, I don't want to say it was like no, not that a, heavy, yeah, but I, like, I feel like it was definitely a bump because of yeah. all the Black Butler stuff I was pumping yeah, out yeah, yeah, all yeah, the, yeah. the stuff. But anyway, so a year goes by, right? And I go to the, you know, they're, they're messaging me telling me, oh, you have to come back to the Black Butler meetup again. I have a big surprise for you. And so I'm like, all right, okay, sure. I thought it was like a gift or something yeah. that they, they were making it out to be. Yeah. Like, so I was like, okay, sure, I'll get it. I'll take a picture. I'll, I'll come, why not? This is the point where I was trying to distance myself from Black Butler. But yeah. I was like, okay, cool, I'll, I'll come. And so I go, uh, yeah, Lord behold, she's just holding a baby. Like literally like two month old baby. I don't know how old this baby is. Yeah. Like it's fresh. Fresh baby. Fresh baby. <laughs> fresh out the oven. Fresh. <laughs> Freshly made baby. <laughs> Not a single wrinkle on this baby. And she's like, oh, do you want to hold Connor? <laughs> I'm like, Connor? And I'm like, oh, that's a funny coincidence. And she's like, oh no, no, it's not a coincidence. I named him after you. And I'm like, okay, this is fucking weird. <laughs> this is fucking weird. <laughs> the fu My favorite ever photo is of you holding baby Connor still out with there. the most uncomfortable smile I've ever seen. How do you even react to that? Uh, uh, just pure confusion. And again, you got to understand God. I just go with everything. I'm, yeah. like, his, face, I'm like, his face holding the baby's like. I mean, yeah, I, I get like, it. I would do exactly the same yeah. thing. I wanted the picture to reflect like how uncomfortable I was <laughs> yeah. so that yeah. I, could, I could like tell the story later on. <laughs> Uh, oh yes, God. there's a picture out there. If you just Google Connor with baby, maybe I don't fucking know. Connor with baby? Connor, C dog baby. I don't C -dog fucking know. Baby. Well, I don't know what the fuck comes up. And I was C dog VA2. Yeah. Yeah. And, and to be fair, this baby was fucking cute. Yeah. But yeah. like, there was something wholly uncomfortable about holding a stranger's baby that I just, yeah. I don't know. 
It's like holding someone's expensive vase, you know. It's like I, oh, I, no. I still don't know how to handle babies. I, I'm, I like someone asked me if I want to hold if I want to hold their baby, and I'm just like, does it come with an instruction manual? <laughs> what do I do? Like, I, I feel so inadequate it's, when it comes to handling babies. They're, they're great for the ten seconds where they're not like crying, and then yeah. the moment you pick them up and they start crying, I'm like, oh god, oh god, what, what, what do? <laughs> what stop, do? please, please, stop, <laughs> stop, stop. Yeah, but like, you know, as as odd as that is, and it, and it, almost creepy, you could say. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not, it's flattering more than anything, I guess, but it was- I mean, don't get me wrong. They were very nice. It's, it's probably it's, flattering it's, in it's, a sense, it's but- It's flattering. I just, I, I, I would feel that if anyone named a baby after me, that's a bit, that's a bit- too much pressure on me. Um, I, feel like, like, I feel like naming your baby after any influencer <laughs> is a bad idea. Did you find it, Maylene? Yeah. What did you type it? in? <laughs> type in okay, Maylene then found it by typing in Sea Dog Baby. Apparently it I, comes off. I just think it's a bad idea naming your your baby after any influencer. Yeah. We all know we're just one bad tweet yeah, away from don't, being yeah, exactly. Don't name your kid after your favorite uh, it's, it's YouTuber, like, it's like, that's weird. It's, it's like getting a tattoo but, of but, your- yeah favorite but YouTuber. Luckily, right? luckily, luckily it was just Connor and yeah. not Sea Dog VA for yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That would like, be I, I, I have, I, I have like no idea how Corp's husband feels whenever, when, oh, he's, bro, when he sees be. like his voice, like what, what, what do we call it's, it? It's like his wave file. The, the, wave yeah, the, the, the waveform yeah, of the him breathing as a tattoo. I'm just like, man, how do, how do you handle that? Yikers. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was that, that's how that happened. Yeah, that yeah. is very bold indeed. That is that is very bold. Uh, the, uh, I've got I've got like a nice one. It's called the smooth paper. I've been handed a uh, piece of paper before, just mm -hmm. at conventions. You know, I'll do I'll just like sign something or I'll I'll take a picture and I'll show me a piece of paper. Right. And I'll be like, hey, here's my number. Come text me. I think that's kind of smooth. That's right, very right, old right. old right. stuff. I don't know why that's smooth. I never reply to any of them because I'm like, bro, I, my phone doesn't work in the U.S. Sorry, <laughs> rip. I just have internet, <laughs> mm. but. It's very smooth. I like it. I actually like that one. I think it's classy. Well, now this you're gonna now you're gonna get this at no every shit. convention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's because it's like it's like with this one, it's like it's not intense. It's like I, I, if I want to call you, I'll call you. I'm not gonna yeah. call you. Just letting you know because mm. I'm too fucking. It's busy just the casual, me. right? That's that's how it's I imagine nice. people. Yeah, there's something simple about it that's so inoffensive. All right. But maybe it's because I'm a guy. I feel like if I was a girl and guys kept doing it to me, I'd be like annoyed. But yeah, that'd yeah. be very creepy. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I can't. I can't imagine. Like it is very like, flattering when someone is attractive and they send you. You know, they they hit on. You. It's yeah. like, oh wow, I'm I, this league really? <laughs> oh no, get out of here! I thought we, were, we weren't even playing the same sport. Yeah, I, I thought, I thought, I thought, dude, I thought I was playing checkers. You're playing 4D chess. Like, <laughs> like, this, this don't match. But yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, it's a nice ego boost for like 20 minutes until you realize that. Like, until you realize it's a bit weird. Yeah, until you realize, wow, this is a bit strange, isn't it? <laughs> Golden rule: don't fuck your fans, right? That's yeah, exactly. exactly. Uh, Especially in this by. climate, I, I just think that's a oh, good yeah, rule yeah, to yeah. Uh, yeah. stick by. Honestly, yeah, dude. Whenever I used to, because for the first like two, three months in Japan, I was using, I, I had like Tinder. Yeah. Cause I thought, oh, no one's gonna recognize me on Tinder. Fantastic. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, those people who recognize me on Tinder here mm. who could speak English obviously, and they obviously a white guy would stand out. Right, right. Yeah. And they were like, oh, I watch your videos. I'm like immediately unmatched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, like- it, See, you did, you played it smart. It was, why would I want to, I, I don't want to date someone who turns up and they're like, well, yo, I love that video you just posted. <laughs> I'm like, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, because unfo I'm, unfortunately there's a lot of YouTubers who probably use that as an ego boost, right? Yeah. Listen, I mean, okay. Getting in the whole topic of fucking your fans or dating your fans. Listen, yeah. there is a way to go about it that, mm. that works. There, there, there is a right way and there is Dunkey and definitely a wrong yeah, way. Like Dunkey yeah. and Leia, yeah. they, they met through being fans. Mm. Yeah. And there is a, that, that no one ever would question the, the, the what's the word? The legitimacy. The, the or legitimacy or the efficacy of that, yeah. right? That's a legitimate relationship. No one, but yeah. there are ways doing it that, that are like taking advantage of your power. And I think that's yeah. why people have the problem. Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of YouTubers don't understand when they are just kind of taking advantage of their own power yeah. in the situation. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 feel, you, I feel like like hooking up, like I say hooking up, hooking up's the wrong word because if mm. hooking up with your fans implies that, yeah, you, you are just kind of just like- You're not you pursuing throw, anything up. You, you're right? just kind of throwing throwing your fame out there and everything like yeah, that. Yeah. And I feel like you have to be really self-conscious about this. And I, I'm glad that people are like, looking more into this and like, and like put, putting more attention Fans are getting this. smarter about it as yeah, well. Yeah, and fans are getting smarter yeah. about this as well, as yeah. they really should be. Mm. Um, and it's the responsibility you hold as a YouTuber. And sometimes you just don't want to worry about that. You just want to yeah. meet someone where you don't want to have to worry about this power imbalance because mm. you you are, you know, we're all just people as well. We're, we're all just people. And sometimes we just want to switch off this part of our lives and just be a normal fucking person like anyone else. Yeah, um, uh, yeah I don't want someone who's, watches my videos and has an expectation 
of me in general mm. that I yeah. can from live up that, to. that is portrayed yeah. through your right, videos. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny because most of the friends I've made who started off as fans, like as we became friends, they just started watching less and less of my stuff, and mm. because that's because that's that in a lot of the ways that made me more, me more comfortable, or they we stopped talking about it because yeah. they were just mates, and we would talk like mates and talk about whatever else apart from my job, as I'm sure they stop. I kind of feel that works in the same way with like friends between two YouTubers, right? It's yeah. like, mm. I definitely like watch like less of like my YouTuber friends videos after yeah. we just kind of went yeah. past that point and just became friends. No, right? you, you keep up with it just, just to see what your mates are doing. Yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah. It's the but same you're not way. like, damn bro, that last video, <laughs> fucking banger bro. Like I would have done this differently though. Yeah, like, like I showed, like, I, I like showing sports to my mates, you know, yeah, but yeah, it's, no. it's different from being like, yo, I'm a huge fan of what yeah. you did. <laughs> Fuck yes, fucking banger right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, it's, man, life's hard, eh? <laughs> uh, if you're a YouTuber, just, uh, if you want to just be but safe, don't fuck your fans. Don't fu Rule number one, so don't, don't fuck your fans. That's what I've been doing, it's been yeah. working yeah. good for me. Don't so. fuck yeah, your fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, uh, here's, the, here's my stock image. <laughs> Can you explain why you chose this particular Okay, so image? there is a Labrador know. with a gun holding a gun I don't know, I just right thought now. it was fun, you know? Okay, sure. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Yeah, right? this, is, this is what happens when you reach like the end of your project and you're just like, I'll just throw whatever shit yeah. I put oh, on. Oh, we're about halfway. We're oh, about halfway? <laughs> okay, okay. But the next ones start getting a bit more obvious. So, okay. Uh, you've been hitting on the YouTube comment section? Of course, yeah. Of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Take me on a date next time I visit Japan. <laughs> that happens. Yeah, um, that happens a lot. a few of those comments. It's like, yeah. uh, no. How about, how about you pay for my date? Yeah. I wonder if anyone is ever in the history of YouTube, probably has, would have taken a comment like that seriously and I mean, that tried to pursue it. I mean, I mean, maybe if you like, you for know, a if you're a smaller video. YouTuber, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I, I did something similar along with like email. Someone emailed me asking me to go on a date. And I made yeah, a but video. there's a difference yeah, between yeah, an yeah, email and yeah, a YouTube yeah, comment. True, 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 true. Right. Um, Anyone um, can write a YouTube comment. <laughs> the live. And then obviously, you know, people ask you on dates on live streams all the time. Mm -hmm. you're, you're streaming. Yeah, I get comments sometimes being like, oh, are we go on a date and we go in Japan? Or people, people subtly ask questions that are like, I think that they think they're being subtle. Right. Uh, but it's very obvious what they're asking. <laughs> like for example, one one very big giveaway uh, as to what some people are asking um, are like, hey, uh, would you ever do like long distance relationship by the way? <laughs> Just, uh, and like some people might genuinely be curious, right? But right. Th there's like a, a way that certain people ask it that is like, uh, no. No, yeah. you know, it's like yeah, kind of gives yeah. you that vibe of like, you're asking this for a purpose. Yeah, And yeah. also I, I get donations sometimes, which I think that's another one actually, but um, where people will be like, oh, um, just like wondering like, what kind of age age group do you go for? Uh, if it isn't obvious by now, uh, MILFs, uh, that's m m mother knows where. Uh, that's what I Milf, go All the MILFs rise up all right now. Them. So you know, uh, you know, if you're if you're around my age, lonely yeah, housewives, no, just getting, also like preparing your, their this, preparing this their your time for to the shine. Next, is, they're they're is, preparing is, their walls um, for the next stream. Is right. your husband just not cutting it? <laughs> I don't want to know who he is, but let him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, stuff like that. What what else do I get? There's ones as well. You know what I get asked a fair amount, which is like the least subtle, which is like. Would you ever date someone who like doesn't do YouTube? And I'm like, would well, you think I exclusively date psychopaths? Like, was that what you think? Like, <laughs> no, I only exclusively <laughs> date YouTubers. That's weird. If you I don't would... have at least ten thousand, well, you guys date YouTubers, but I couldn't imagine dating a YouTuber. I mean, I started dating her when she had like a yeah. less than a thousand subs, so it's yeah, a little bit different. Yeah, I mean, I convinced my girl to become a YouTuber. Yeah. So, oh, so you brought them into the play? Yeah, yeah we yeah, brought yeah. them in. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want my significant other to be a YouTuber. Why? <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't want to fucking deal with another me. That's fucking awful. <laughs> and like my schedule is such a mess already. That I wouldn't like a relationship to me like that would be such a fucking mess if both of us had similar schedules like that. I mean, I don't blame you. There's lots of people who are like that. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's just, just, a, me. just me. I mean, that's, that's just what I want. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I feel I, that's I, just I how that. our relationships ended up. Yeah, right? yeah. True, true, yeah. true. It's just a standard work yeah. schedule. No. Yeah. Yeah. And like this stock image, <laughs> which is uh, <laughs> Uh, again, doesn't really have anything to do with the point, but it's a funny oh, stock no, no, no. image. I just wanted to put a stock image in there. Yeah. Uh, this one, uh, donations again. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is, <laughs> the charitable. I'm pretty sure these are called simps, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah these are called, uh, yeah, yeah. You can't say that anymore. Oh yeah. The T3 subs banned now. Banned off Twitch. No, I like to call them prime members. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tier three subs. Are you a prime one. member? Well, we're going on a date yeah. soon. Uh, yeah, obviously you get that a lot. Yeah. Uh, actually Instagram re message requests, get that a lot. Yeah, I get, Do you actually I, check them? 
No. I do. I, I, I do it every now and then just because I find I used to. I used to. Yeah, I used to as well. And then I realized that these are useless and I yeah, yeah, yeah. stopped checking it. People, would, people just, it's like throwing a, a coin down a well hoping for it to grow into a tree, right? It's like, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is the stock image to go along with it. I don't really know what is happening. They're there. on a car bonnet. Yeah, and definitely having <laughs> sex. I don't, I, I'm not really I, sure what's I going on. I have no on. idea what's going on there. Yeah, so that's that's the Instagram message. It's completely useless. Don't do it. It's not gonna work. Um, unless you have a shit ton of followers. I think it pops up and the Instagram tells you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah someone yeah. bigs message. There's like some kind of threshold of yeah, followers, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like I already mentioned. It's like having that blue tick mark on uh, <laughs> Twitter. I'm true, yeah, true. Yeah. true. Already <laughs> mentioned this one, but uh, just, just uh, Tinder. Yeah, yep. I mean, <laughs> wait—is that the—is that the same girl the in front of the burning house? It does look like her. It looks it? like her, doesn't it? Oh yeah, the it kind of does. Yeah. yeah, could be. It could maybe be. Maybe she found a nice career in stock images afterwards. That who knows? <laughs> uh, also, actually, believe it or not, I've been hit on on Fiverr. Fi of course you have. No joke. Oh no, jo of course you no have. No joke. Why am I no not surprised? Joke. I legitimately had a seller sell, sell your services. Is that Ooh. is that it? <laughs> Yeah, they were like, Connor, I've got a great deal for you. Let me give you a custom offer on Fiverr. Right? Right. Uh, so yeah, no, actually funny enough, they, they're, already, they're already good sport about it though, but they were basically just kind of like, um, I think I had hired them for one of the videos. And I think they were an artist. What, 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 were they, uh, what, what were they trying to buy from you? No, no, no. So I hired them. Yeah. And then when the video came out, they mm -hmm. were like, oh, thanks for including me in the video. Bye. I don't know if you like want to ever like just call or hang out. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Here's, here's my Discord. And I'm like, oh, okay. All right. Okay. This man's an absolute thanks. chick magnet. No, no. This is, what, this is what I'm saying, right? When when you have, you know, you get, how many fucking views do we get a month on our own channel? Like eight, nine million views a month, right? Yeah. All it takes is one person to think I'm attractive. Why? I don't know. To, to then go on and then do something, right? right? I don't think I'm inherently more attractive than anyone or most people. Yeah, but the thing like, is, is I that think like- you just, you just have a platform, like- Right. Really. But the thing is, is that like, I've never experienced that. I don't think Gant's ever experienced that. Really? Well, not not to this. But then like, I, I also I, to be fair, right? I also I also do but, a lot but of, also you like I, I feel like your content. Yeah, I do can, videos can, about like dating and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, I mean, so. like I, it doesn't surprise me. I guess you do more appeal more to that kind of yeah. crowd. And any yeah. any anyone who like has because a lot of your content base started off with literal fan interaction. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Whereas it's all for me, started from for that. me, I did, I literally didn't start. Like even for most of my videos, I don't show my face on my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All. Whereas we don't give a shit about our my whole, <laughs> my, my whole, yeah, you don't fucking scum. My whole YouTube like career in the start was built off interaction, and I'm very yeah, grateful. Right, for Which right, is right. why, like, it doesn't surprise me why some of the weirdest fan interactions have come from <laughs> come from you. I guess so. Yeah, that makes sense. If you give avenues for people to talk to you, they'll yeah. find a way to hit on you. That's, mm. that's how it works. And uh, this is the stock image. Um, oh my god! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that was me at the end of the figurine like challenge. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah. That's what it felt. Just that's what it like, felt like. Just yeah. what the direction was here. Yeah. I don't know. I'm curious. But hey, kids, swallow this fish for us real quick. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right, gotcha, fam. <laughs> Viking kids. How, eating how, a how meal. much are you getting? Five dollars for this? <laughs> All right, see. Uh, next time, I've I've been asked out if I'd like to go drinking with someone at a panel. Uh, I've, I've had what, that. in front yeah. of other people? In front of the whole panel. Yeah, I've had that. Like uh, two two women who are, yeah, I, I guess in my in my, my preferred demographic of, you know, uh, older women yeah. who are like, oh, would you like to? <laughs> Connor was like, I'm Dem listening. Demographic. I was like, you, you have Connor, my attention. Connor goes through his analytics and he, he picks by demographic. He's just like, <laughs> get rid of all this. This is like 25 to 30. No, none of that. No, 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 too no. close in age. 35 to 45 though? Ooh. Ooh okay. <laughs> so so they're, they're legit. I think it was uh, there, this two two women, right? Uh, they were, I think one was the aunt and one was the mother of the daughter they brought along. Mm -hmm. And she just sticks her hand up and she's like, I have no idea who you are, but I like your voice. Would you be willing to have drinks with us later? The mom said that. The mom said that. And <laughs> I've never seen a, a child go from like smiling to anger so fast. <laughs> the, the child's like, mom, mom, mom. <laughs> The child was like, I was gonna say that. I, I was just like, yeah, I'd love to like laugh like jokingly. Yeah. Never did. I actually, if, if honestly, if they came up to me afterwards, <laughs> yeah. of course that, you would. or found me at the bar, I'd have been like, I, okay, I love talking. I don't know, mums are so fun to talk to at anime conventions. No, not in the hitting on way. Just, just in general, they're so fun, dude. 
Because they don't give a fuck and they're like, I don't know what the fuck is happening, but I'm the cool parent that to, was willing to be to fair, come yeah. To, to be fair, convention. when like if it's at a signing and like a mom or a dad comes with their son or daughter, well, they're always and, so and chill. They're, and they're like, yeah, they're the best people. Oh, to honestly, talk to. they they are pretty See? chill. Yeah. Like, yeah. Maylene's trying to make it creepy. Yeah. It's not no, no, no. fucking it's, creepy. It's 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 because you specifically said moms. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I I love talking to parents at conventions because yeah. I'm yeah. just no, like dads. No, no. Give me all the moms. No, 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 no. I've had like, uh, I, I, oh wait, I don't know if it comes up later. I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell it later, but basically yeah. there was this w one guy I've had before, like mm -hmm. his, his kids really like me. He was like, oh, yeah. can, I, can I buy you dinner or something? I'm like, oh, fucking sure, why not? I'll yeah. talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll hang out, be nice. And it was nice getting to know him and his kids. So that's cool. Yeah, I've, I've had the same things with like dads as well. Yeah. Yeah. They just, it's you cool, know, if, 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 if a dad's willing to like get involved in this shit, then they're a cool fucking dad. Yeah, yeah because honestly. I, Absolutely. you know, when, when that happens and they, they, they show passion about like the, what their kid's passionate mm -hmm. about, like, mm -hmm. I think it's so fucking cool. That's I wish, a good parent. I wish yeah. my parents did that. Cause yeah. my parents didn't do that. They would never do that uh, to this day. No. I, I think the proudest mom I've ever uh, seen was uh, it was at, it was at AX, mm. and you know we had signings uh, yeah. signings, and then uh, two little kids come, and you know they they were cute and stuff, and then the mom looks at me and she like sees my name and everything, and she goes, "Ask me in Thai, are you Thai?" And then I I reply in Thai, and then we have this conversation, and she was just like. I am so fucking happy that my kids, my, my kids are looking up to a Thai person. <laughs> Thank you for representing the Thai people. I, I am proud of you. Thank you very much. I, I had the opposite once in Finland where the mum was a big fan and the daughter had no idea. <laughs> like the mum came up was like, can God, you sign God, this? God, I wish that was me. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, can I, it's like, it's like, can you sign this? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I looked at the daughter and yeah. I was like, okay. You know, like, what's your name? I, I yeah. looked at the door, I was like, what's your name? Like, and no. the mom was like, no, 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 it's me. And I was like, oh, okay, oh, okay. Yeah, Cause I, I feel like for like Southeast Asian parents, right? We, we, we any anytime you talk to a Southeast Asian parent, whenever mm. you meet someone else mm. who's the same race, mm. every Southeast Asian mother, especially they go into Southeast Asian mom, mom mode, right? Yeah, yeah. So the first thing she, she legit asks me after finding out I'm Thai and just, you know, asking the basic questions is, um, yeah, have you had any Thai food recently? Cause uh, I can, I can- uh, You gotta get good Thai food, yeah, right? Yeah, you yeah, have, yeah, yeah, you gotta have yeah, good yeah, Thai yeah. food. You know, I, I could recommend you some places if you're missing some Thai yeah. food. I'm just like, <laughs> dude, I honestly, I'm like, thank you so much. Dude, I'm going to take this advice to heart. Cause honestly, so fucking awesome. honestly, yes, I am missing Thai food. <laughs> I am missing home. Cause I also like mums or like parents have come up to me and like, do you want a water? You look like you're like tired. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. thank you. I'll take this. Thank you. That's so kind. I've had yeah. like a dad like just slip me a twenty, being like, "Buy yourself a beer after this, man. You're working. <laughs> you're working real hard today, son." I'm like, "Oh, thanks, man." Uh, fine. I, I had one one time similar to that, but uh, there was a, a actually an old patron of mine uh, met me, and uh, her grandma came, and she mm. must have been like 70, 80, I'm not mm. sure. And she was just so impressed that I wrote in cursive. <laughs> she was like, she was like, like in like the most like hick. Like not hick, it was kind of like Midwest and kind of yeah. like, oh, you know, it's just not right. They they teach the kids here. They don't teach them how to write cursive. It's not right. I really like that you keep the old ways alive. And I'm like, oh, because I'm, I'm just British. <laughs> I have no fucking clue what you guys are doing. Right, right. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if it's that good because no one can read my fucking handwriting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, wait, what are your kids doing? It's probably, probably pretty good actually. Uh, yeah, and also stock image. I actually found one that was fitting for this. Okay. <laughs> Pregnant lady with a gun. With a gun. With the tiniest gun I've ever seen. That, that's like a. That's like that, the. That's like a BB gun. That's like a the, a German pistol, like World War Two. That looks like. <laughs> well, what, that's, what like kinda, the, that's like the spy gun, but they like hide in a purse. Yeah, is right? this a scene from like Inglorious Bastards or something? <laughs> like. <what? laughs> this is definitely a, a frame taken from a Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Fuck. Oh yeah, yeah. This was this wasn't so much uh, odd. This mm. wasn't being hit on, but this is just a funny story I wanted to tell. Yeah. So, uh, one time uh, there was uh, I was at a convention, and mm. I have actually have this guy on Facebook still. So mm. he was really nice, but it was just it was very strange. And things get, get added on and adding on. Where I went to it, and they were like, "Okay, so you when you go to a convention as a guest, you typically if it's like a big convention, you will get like a handler, mm. like it's like an assistant." Yeah, basically someone yeah. who makes sure that you turn up to your appointments on time. And also if you need anything or like you say you're signing things and you, you know, you run out of Sharpies, like can yeah. you give me a Sharpie real quick. Uh, they'll, they'll do stuff like that. Mm. And um, uh, the guy I had, he was like, oh yeah, my daughter's a big fan. I'm like, oh, cool, cool. Mm. That's that's awesome. He's like, would you mind like saying hi to her? And I'm like, yeah, of course, of course. Like I'll, I'll hang mm. out with them. Yeah. And then he was really nice and he helped me out a lot. And he always like got me whatever I needed. And then uh, he was like, yeah, do you want to like come for like a, a family dinner with me? 
And my, my family was like, oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I, I felt like I had to say yes, yeah. but like yeah. I was like, oh, sure. I mean, of course, like I don't mind. I mean, this guy's helping you out, right? Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I literally had nothing better than you. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? You did yeah. real nice. So yeah. I'd love to meet your family. His family was like 12 kids or something. Jesus Christ. And like half of them, half of them knew who I was and half of them didn't care. Right. Yeah. But it was like, it was like being in the middle of a uh, half a dozen, what's that movie called? Like does it, Double dozen, what the fuck is that family movie? I, I, I know what you're you talking about. Yeah. I was like in this and I'm By like- By the dozen or something Something like that. Like that. Yeah. But it was really cool because I, I, I think I think he was like a foster parent or something and it was really cool. The story was really unique. Mm. Not being hit on by the way at all. Quite yeah. the opposite. I just thought yeah. it was a cool story to tell. Yeah. Just thought it was really odd that I got like roped into this and I was like, what is happening? Why is there 12 kid? <laughs> I felt all, bad. all I can envision is that that scene from Annie where they're they're all like eating on the really I'm long the table. And you're just in the middle. I, like. yeah, I'm in the middle of like, these small kids, and I felt bad because the dad was trying to talk to me, but obviously all the kids were like, "Yo, it's a YouTuber," and they yeah. wanted my attention. Yeah. They kept asking me questions, and they'd be like, "Do you pay taxes?" Or something like that. And I'm like, "Well, what? that's like a four year old asking you this. Like, I'm like, are you I avoiding do. taxes? <laughs> are you the IRS?" Because no. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was it was just pretty cool mm. about that. I thought it was a fun story. Yeah. Um, oh God, why? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why? Oh, that was just a morbid uh, oh, stock that, image. That, that was that was a, that's, this is a hell of a stock image. Yeah. I don't know why this was a stock image, but Getty, why do you have in, this? In what? Sometimes you look at stock images and you think, in what context would someone want to use this? What, like, was, what was the direction they had when someone they took this? Honestly, right. honestly, I I do think there is a like small market. I'm a small market of stock image photographers that are like, I'm hoping this is going to become a meme. I'm 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 betting that this is. I'm I'm going to take some meme photos and hope that this is this. They're becomes, all like they're all like racing to be yeah. the next meme, right? Yeah, they're, they're hoping <laughs> that to become the next jealous girlfriend meme mm. guy. Like that. I'm, this is this is definitely giving me that energy right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. All right, this is the, the unexpected, if you will. Let me oh. show the stock image, first of all. What a good stock image. Okay. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a Tarantino shot right there. <laughs> <laughs> My cigar with the boys, we kidnap somebody. So yeah, no, one, one time, uh, like, you, like you said, like the, the mothers bring the daughter, uh, the daughters bring the mothers along. Yeah. yeah. Um, and one time there was like, they were both really big fans. And I mm. thought, wow, that's so fucking cool. Mm. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I didn't really think much of it. And like, she was like joking, being like, oh, you, you, she said I look like, like Tom Cruise. And I'm like, I do not look like Tom Cruise. <laughs> I look quite the opposite of yeah. Tom Cruise. <laughs> Is this uh, basically every Reddit post who has like a white guy with a beard and yeah, like, that looks like Connor that does. Oh yeah, it's Connor man. <laughs> Connor white beard checks out. <laughs> Connor. And then I was like, ah, oh, okay. And then they were like, oh yeah, are you, are you seeing anyone? Like legit ask me this. Like while her, <laughs> Wait, the I, mom was? Yeah, the it? mom asked me that while I'm <laughs> signing the daughter's autograph. And I thought, oh, yeah, no, not really, not really. Yeah. She's like, oh, okay. I mean, do you want to get a drink later? And I'm like, ah, uh, and I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Right. Thinking like, oh, it's like, this isn't serious. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Found out later, she was very serious. Right. And she was very disappointed that we didn't have that drink. Right, right. Because I, I, I thought it was joking. You basically stood yeah. her up. <laughs> well, I mean, she didn't tell you me stood anything. up a MILF, I sh I, Not proud to say it. <laughs> The world is gonna end. I'm trying to say it, you know, but Connor, yeah, I do. Connor, I, I'd expect- I believe it was a you. single mother as well, actually. Okay. Oh, um, that's like your fantasy. I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the, the, thing with, the thing with MILF porn, right? Yeah. Is that you don't see the kids. So that, right. that's a big plus, right? I don't want to fucking know about the kids. Don't tell me about the kids. I don't want to get involved with it. What's wrong, Maylene? They call, they, you get married and they have to call you dad. Oh, oh. That's so gross. I mean, some people are into the daddy thing, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no. It's the fantasy. It's the fantasy. L listen, the problem with the, the whole like MILF dynamic in real life is there are a lot of hurdles that make it very uncomfortable oh and very awkward. Right. I would feel so sorry for the fucking daughter. Imagine being a fan. I felt sorry for the daughter. Imagine well. being a fan of a YouTuber and then they become but, your dad. But the, but <laughs> let's, just think, let's just think that about is, that for that a is, second. That is a fucking like, that is a, a, a like a visual novel in the making. Yeah. <laughs> he was my favorite YouTuber, but now he's my dad. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> but actually it was the daughter yeah. that ended up being like, oh, I'm so sorry. My mom just gets carried away sometimes. Right, right, I'm right, like, yeah. Your mom's on like the prowl next to you with her. What's going on? What kind of dynamic you guys, you guys like are real- like in cougar mode. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are real close to be like scouting out the prey with each other. You know what I mean? Your mom's like, yo, 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 become my wing, wing woman. Come on, go wing woman. Come <laughs> That's on, come what on. it was. It was like a wing man. It was crazy. That's nuts. Domestic, yeah, domestic boy boyfriend. <laughs> it's like it's like love triangles, you know, in a, a porno or a hentai. Yeah. Yeah. It's very attractive in right. a hentai, but you realize in real life, fuck, it's a nightmare. Yeah, it's messy as fuck. If you have anything like that, it never ends well. <laughs> you, you that more, was definitely <laughs> unexpected. That's that was that was the unexpected. Yeah. Uh, I actually got hit on on Overwatch one time. 
Oh yeah, that was fun. How so? Oh, someone recognized who I was, yeah. and then added. I added them. I started playing with them, and just casually started inquiring, you know, about my love life and stuff. And that's not. Were they like <laughs> role playing or anything like this? Like what? Like I'm which, sorry, which, tracer, which, tracer, I'm you can be uh, which part of this? Uh, which part of your career was this in? <laughs> which part of the career? This, when did Overwatch come out? It was like literally like three, four months into Overwatch being released. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a while ago mm. then. I was like four or five years. Yikes! Old. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever Overwatch came out, this happened, um, and yeah, I, 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 I remember just being a bit awkward because they kept asking, like, when someone normally inquires about your love life, mm. uh, uh, a, a, a bit of uncomfortable amount when you don't really know them, which yeah. is like fine. Mm. I mean, you can ask me about that. I'm pretty open about it. Right. I don't really mind talking about it. But then when you proceed to like ask me, like the next step, right. it's like. <laughs> You live in like you live in like Norway. I don't know. It's kind of far. <laughs> I don't really know what's in Norway. Yeah. Or, you know, there's no benefits to getting married to someone in Norway. You know. Yeah. You know, just, I'm joking. I'm joking. This is a joke. Uh, yeah. And then this is. Uh, yeah. This is it. Wow. This is almost what it was like yeah. at the urinal for me. <laughs> so when we when we see each other, the urinal uh, or you know, yeah. what, do, what are you saying? We, we, you know, urinal. 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 Wait, is that what Americans say? No, that's what you, that's what the British say, right? No. We no. say urinals. Urinal. Yeah. I thought the British say urinal. No, Americans say urinal. I've, yeah. I, urinal. Say so urinal I guess well. I d I've never heard someone say urinal before. I've, I've said urinal. I've only, yeah, I've, I've only heard British people say urinal. You know what? I it gets I get confused on what words I'm saying. I'm British and American because people constantly correct me. Even yeah. though I know I'm, I'm, I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah. But they say, why does he say it like that? And then yeah. I end up unconsciously changing it. So I go back to the UK and all my, everyone mocks me for sounding American. Yeah, I don't even know what, like sometimes I say a word and I don't even know if that's said in a British yeah, way or yeah. an American yeah, way anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but that's it. That's the that's PowerPoint presentation. Boom, done. Thank you. Ooh, thank wow. you. That was that was a hell of a presentation. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you for your that. TED talk, okay. sir. Thanks guys. Thank Maybe you. Why aren't you clapping, Maylin? <laughs> <laughs> Clap louder, Maylin, I couldn't hear you. What lessons did we learn? Um, Connor's fans are fucking weird. <laughs> if, you, if, if you are a woman above the age of 35? Yeah. Is that what you think my demo is? Yeah. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I don't know. I just like older than me. <laughs> is that like, older than you? Older than you. Older than you. Like, I, I, okay, listen, right? You can see. So wait, how old are you at right now? 24? 24, right? Okay, so late <laughs> 20s. 24 and, 24 and a half year olds are gonna be like, ooh. <laughs> I'm in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> some, some people age like wine, man. They age better, man. They, 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 they get more attractive. <laughs> Why are you laughing, man? It's true though. It's true. Yeah, it's yeah, true. No, Some no, people, true. like you see pictures of like, uh, you see them when they're younger, like celebrities, you see them when they're older, you're like, holy shit, he's 50, but he's hotter than he ever was. Yeah, right. I agree. You know, and Honestly. As, to me, it's like, as long as the mindset is there that you're like, you know, you're, you're in my world and you're on the same wavelength of thinking and you treat yeah. life the same way. I don't give a fuck about your age. Yeah, I mean, I feel like some as people- As long as you're hot. I just don't want you to be younger than me. I no, don't I, fucking I, I, I feel like some people just hit a certain age and then they just stop giving a shit about how they look and taking mm. care of themselves, mm. right? Or alternatively, they just think they can get away with the lifestyle they had in their twenties and just bring that to like their, the, their entire- 40s and 50s, right? Yeah. Like 30s, 40s and 50s. Cause mm. you know, I, I think being 30 now as the only 30 year olds, I, I've, I've heard that being 30 is just basically being 20 with one debuff. Um, that's <laughs> and, <laughs> and shit blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shit blood. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like some people do age like fucking fine wine, mm. and a lot of Asians just don't age at all, I guess, until they reach like this cap, and then they just start aging. Yeah, like and then crazy. they're like, oh, oh, we have to age. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, also, going back to the naming after my baby, it wasn't an insult, by the way. I just want to make sure that's clear. I don't think that's like a bad thing. Yeah. Just thought it was yeah. very intense. Mm. Just, <laughs> I mean, it's a very quite a lot. I mean, I've never heard any other story like that. So. It, it's yeah. like, it's so overwhelming that you're like, which emotion do I take away like, from? Like I, I, I put myself in your shoes and the biggest, like if, if, if I'm like trying to be like POV, you are Connor holding a baby that's named after you. I'm like, how, <laughs> how do I even- how do I, pump music. <laughs> do, 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 do. How, do I, how do I even manage what to say right yeah. now? I wouldn't even know how to react. It's um, like a mixture of like overwhelming flattery, overwhelming, like what the fuck? Yeah. Are you sure about this? Yeah. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, is this a mistake? Are you gonna regret this? Cause this like, I'm not, I'm not all that, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, um, yeah. What else we take away from the PowerPoint presentation, boys? What, what did you learn? You today? get hit on a lot. No, no, no. <laughs> it's actually, you know you what? You get hit on a so lot. So my audience has gone from, as we know, 93%. Mm -hmm. It's uh, recently, it went to I think like 60% male um, is my- It's of all the JoJo shit you've been yeah. doing. JoJo, I think also there was a good, amount of time where I think because of my thumbnails, because of the topics I was covering, YouTube just didn't recommend me to guys. Mm. Yeah. And now it's suddenly started being like, oh wait, guys can watch this guy too. 
Yeah. And so right, I started right. getting a massive influx of guy viewers that I never had before. Right, right, right. Um, and I stopped doing as much Yowie stuff and slowed down on that. But mm. the, I mean, it's still like nearly, it's like, it, it depends on the month. It's like, it depends on the videos I make. Yeah. It's yeah. about 50 50 now, which is nice. And it's slowed down a lot. Uh, but there's ups and downsides, right? Like, it was mainly like, I, I know that I spoke about like mainly, like, it was like girls coming up to me, but dude, guys hit on me just as much. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I've had that. Which is flattering because well. really? there was like one dude. He was in my Instagram message request. Man was fucking ripped as fuck. And I was like, wow, I'm I'm very flattered. You think? <laughs> this man had like the body of a Greek statue and this man thought I was worthy of being hit on. I was very, I was very flattered. <laughs> oh was man, very, jealous. Yeah, right, right. I was like, damn, damn. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, 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 it's whatever. It's just fucking YouTube. Yeah, I mean, what, what I can take about this is that if there is going to be an avenue, not necessarily to be hit on, but for someone to get in contact with mm. contact with you, because half I would say half of these were just, you know, the fan interactions or people trying to get in contact with you. If there's an avenue, people are going to find a way. And yeah. I've definitely felt that as a YouTuber as well. Yeah, mm. I mean, you can hit on me. It's very flattering. I don't yeah. care. Mm. You don't have to stop doing it. Just don't be creepy. I yeah. don't, I mean, just do it in a sophisticated way. Yeah, yeah man, you do it sl slick. I'll be like, thank you for the ego <clears throat> boost. I'm going to go away feeling great. Then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Who doesn't do exactly. You get hit on, you're like, damn, I'm a 10. And then you go back to your hotel room, eat a whole bag of flaming hot Cheetos and yeah. realize you're truly a five. Yeah. And also the, on the opposite end, any uh, taking this advice for any like young budding YouTubers out mm. there, like tread carefully with fans hitting on you. Don't fuck like, your fans, man. It, it, it never works out. Listen, uh, there's, you know, it might work out one tenth of the time, but yeah, there's, right. The problem is, is that- But are you willing to take the risk? Yeah. I mean, you, you, ha you have to be really careful. And I think the biggest problem is that whenever whenever you're like a YouTuber starting out, especially when you're a small YouTuber, mm -hmm. I, th I feel like this is more a message to small YouTubers um, who don't have the experience or don't think they're gonna get big because you don't fucking know if you're gonna get big, mm. right. right? But you should, treat, you should treat the fans or you should treat your audience, th no matter how big you are, exactly the same. Yeah. And it's-, it's Stay grounded. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's cringy messages out there of me hitting on someone at 19 that would just embarrass me. But it's again, I'm 19, you know, yeah. just fucking. Yeah, idiot. but like you're you're like kind but of. It wasn't like hitting on fans of me like semi nudes, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's just like just me being an average 19 year old. Also, basically. yeah, exactly. Like when you're younger, like you don't you don't really have like the senses to know what exactly is cringe or not. Yeah, right. Also, when you're younger, you're just horny as fuck. Yeah, exactly. You know? exactly. And, and 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 you think you can get away with you know being horny. And you grow up and you realize, man, I did a lot of stupid shit yeah. back then. Yeah, Young, yeah. dumb, and full of calm, that's as they say. <laughs> Lovely, Joey. Words to live by. Yeah. But I mean, it's it's like, because there's some people, you know, there's a lot of YouTubers out there very, very openly happy to admit that they date fans. They're like, well, mm. you know, f normal famous celebrities get to fuck their fans and no one bats an eye. And it's like, well- I mean, yeah, that double standard is like, but the reason why I, I this is the way I interpret it and why that's the case that mm. normal celebrities they don't bank on the fact of relatability they don't bank on yeah. the fact of being they're like people above the clouds they, right? well their yeah. whole like every like pop star is supposed to be like a character like yeah. a, an absurd kind of not real person mm. yeah right they never pretend to be your friend they never like pretend to give a shit about you yeah. and if you have sex with them they'll probably don't give a shit about it right maybe right. maybe right it's just a joke but I mean, if you do it with an influencer, right? Or a uh, gross word, or a YouTuber, right? I, 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 influencer. I influencer. I guess it's almost kind of a betrayal of what you built up, which is like a lot of the people who watch us, right? I guess, uh, I don't know if you guys know, like, uh, you guys feel this way. Like there's a, you form like a bit of a bond, right? Where mm. you like, you respect the creator and yeah. you look up to them and you enjoy their stuff and you feel a lot closer to a YouTuber than you would say. Yeah, because he, he, most, and so it's that sorry. that's being taken advantage of. Right, yeah. it's because most YouTubers are more, I guess, grounded, right? Yeah. And yeah, feel yeah. more real. So when you do watch them, you're just like, oh, yeah. this is an actual person I'm yeah. watching. Yeah, like, like I, I would say to be like the right way to go about it is, if you're if you're going to get involved with your fans, that you just one of the biggest things is you don't do it straight away. You're yeah. only, like you need to treat start them- Start as a friend. Start, start as a yeah. friend, treat them like a human being, yeah. get the get to know each other first, like yeah. any normal fucking mm. relationship. You, you need um, to like immediately like break down or disassemble any like power dynamic in play mm. of like fan yeah. YouTube. And, and like with- You need to put yourself on equal footing. Yeah, and with stuff like one night stands or something, that's that gets so messy and there's no yeah. way to like differentiate, is there a power dynamic there? Mm. Is, is, is the person is the person going to do this and then you know regret it afterwards and just it, it it's too messy to be able to justify mm. I feel um and if there is a right way to go about it and there's wrong ways to go about it but like most of the time it's like you know it, it it's like 
do you want to defuse a bomb? Like, you, if you know how to, and yeah. you, you want to do that, yeah. go ahead. There's go a right ahead. way to do it, but it's not worth the like, risk. Yeah, but like, is it time. worth, is it like- when you Is it worth just, the risk? It's yeah, not it's worth like, the yeah, risk. Li literally blowing yourself up in terms yeah. of career. Like, yeah. is it worth it? Or you could just, I don't know, be do what everyone else yeah. fucking does and in I, the world and, and, and I just feel, date normally. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of smaller YouTubers don't, like they, they don't really think about this because they think I've got nothing to lose. So I'm just gonna do this right now while I, while I can, because you grew up in a culture where, yeah, you do see, you know, celebrities and like groupies like sleeping with, you know, music artists and everything mm. like that. And you think, man, I, I, that sounds like an awesome lifestyle. I kind of want that <laughs> lifestyle. Yeah. So when they get like a smidgen of that, they mm. think I got to take advantage of this mm. while I still can. The rock and roll lifestyle works if you're in that field. It, the rock and roll lifestyle is not the YouTuber lifestyle is two completely different things I find. Yeah, it's it's tough. It's so tough. And it's yeah. like, is it just like, it's not even worth like getting into. Yeah, right. because I, I feel like to get involved in this is it's, you are literally navigating a minefield. Oh yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. and um, it's like, if you really want to do it, you, you, you can do it. Yeah. But the reason why I think most YouTubers, YouTubers will say, don't fuck your fans is because it's just like, it's, it's, not so, much, it. it's, it's, it's not so much risk you're taking on for yeah. no reason. Like it, it and, and to me it's like, do you really want someone who wants to be with you for your videos? Is that mm. like, why is that attractive? Like, I, They're looking at you only for the content right, right. you make. Because right. I, I to me, it's a competitive mindset. Mm. I, you know. I, I, to me, that's like a massive turnoff. If, if they're only with me because of my content, then that's like it's the same thing. If you're only my friends mm. for my content, mm. then you, I, I'm just saying you can't be my mm. friend yeah. because that's that's not how I would see a friend. Yeah. The same way I, that's how I wouldn't see like a, a possible yeah. partner or anything like that. That's like, like that. saying like, also oh, if I change my content, then you're suddenly not my friend. There's, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Like, I, I, there is no bigger turn on, right? Than meeting someone who just likes you for you. Yeah. Like, what, why, why I, I'm sitting there, I'm thinking like, I, how the fuck am I supposed to be into this and then like get my dick hard when yeah. I'm all I'm thinking about your thinking is like, what's the next upload gonna be? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, fuck that. No, I, I I want someone who like speaks to me, knows nothing about YouTube and yeah. is like, holy shit. Like this guy's fucking cool. Yeah. I like him. Yeah. He's so nice. Yeah. You want people to see you as Connor, not Cito. Yeah. 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 Which obviously I made it a bit difficult for myself, obviously, but right. you know, I can still go about it. And, you know, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. You, don't, you don't wanna be with a girl, be in bed and be like, yo, if you enjoyed that session, hit the subscribe button, <laughs> click the like button. <laughs> <laughs> if we get to 5,000 likes, I'll do round two. <laughs> 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 I want a YouTube video of someone trying to do that. Man, oh my that's, god! Yeah, I, I feel like oh my god! Yeah, there's so many fucking douche tubers out there who do shit. Like oh, that they, as well. there are. I, I'm sure there, there's YouTubers out there who just admit every single fucking day, like, yeah, I fuck my fans so well. Mm. And like, I mean, screw them, but. If you want to have like, you know, <laughs> some- If you want to be respected by the community. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you want to be seen as like a, a role model, don't know what that is. I mean, yeah. 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 I mean like douche tubers, I feel just exist on a different plane yeah, of existence true, where true. I, d I don't know how they function or, you know. I, I, I just I just want YouTubers to have a better rap, right? Like mm. not all of us are fucking psychopath. Uh, money hungry, chasing, you yeah. know, like yeah. As, as a lot of a lot of us are horny motherfuckers, and that's that's just the that's just human nature. That, that is just the horny, but we we do it the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Mother knows breast on <laughs> on Blu-ray. You, know, you know, we we are three horny guys, but at least we're horny on main, and uh, <laughs> yes. we we keep to being horny on main, yeah. and uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Man, I, a part of me is part of me is glad is that you. I have like YouTube to keep me in check almost. Mm. Not not that I would start doing awful shit if I wasn't a YouTuber. <laughs> Yeah. But the fact that there is this kind of like obvious moral lines that right. that it's not like, oh no, man, should I, should I do that? No, no, it's not. They're like these yeah, unspoken don't. guidelines and rules to like, make sure you're not Being overstepping ass, it. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It really makes me cautious about how I come off to people and yeah. what I say to people it makes me way more yeah. conscious about how I speak in a way that I think is, you know, I, the way I speak on live streams, the way I speak, you know, on, on the video is how I'll speak mm. to most people in my life yeah. and how I go, yeah. you know, and I like that it's kind of taught me in a way to just, it sounds awful, right? But just give a shit about everything and, and pay attention even if it is draining at times. It sounds awful. I'm like, yeah, you should taught me to be not an asshole. Like, but like, <laughs> you, you know how some things you take for granted yeah. that you, when you're a, you know, when you're an individual who isn't on like a uh, open person. Yeah. Right. I mean, for me, it's, it's not, it didn't teach me to, you know, give a shit about everything, but it did teach me to really question my own values. And it's a better way of putting it. Yeah, and, and, and really justify 
if is is this value I hold right? And right, right, as, totally. as opposed to like, I, I just think about, I just think it this way because I was gr I grew up in that kind of environment, and it, and it really made me self reflect. And I feel mm. like that that is like a healthy part of YouTube that Absolutely. has has I th I think I've become a better person because of YouTube. Yeah, uh, like it's 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 about that mentality of like, okay, if I wasn't doing YouTube, then do is the things that I do and the way that I talk to people and that kind of stuff, would that be still considered respectful to other yeah. people, regardless of if I, were, if I had this job or not? Like, and yeah. would I still be a good person if I didn't have YouTube? And if the answer is yes, then I think you're following it right. If you're not, then you're- if the answer is no. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, look at all the douche tubers, right? Apparently you can get away with that shit if you have a YouTube channel. I don't know, do they get away with that shit though? Like- I mean, there's, it, I mean, there's are, a reason why they have an audience. Are they, right? are they like a twit- Are they just, like a twit longer waiting to happen? Because I, they're definitely like a limit, like they're not going to be like the, at the point that they are for very long. Because I feel like a big, I, I mean, this is getting to a really deep topic now, but a big problem with a lot of these like apology videos and, you know, a lot of this kind of culture that has, that has been built up. Mm. I understand where it comes from, where we, we do need to keep in, uh, we do need to keep in ch each other in check yeah. and make sure that people aren't abusing their power. But a part of it just makes me feel like, man, People are just treating this like one big reality TV show. Yeah, it's not keeping each other check. We've, we've just made it a modern coliseum. Yeah, yeah we just we just done. gamified yeah. it basically. Yeah, we, we've, yeah. just made, we've just you know we could we can't kill each other. That's the yeah. best thing we can do is fucking get at each other's throats yeah. online. Yeah, yeah. Like, which is which is why right now now when I see an apology video or a twit longer, you know, like a lot a lot of like as we said, we we were taught to you know have to give a shit about this thing. But sometimes I see this and I'm like. I don't have the energy to give the shit to care about this. Mm. This doesn't involve me, you know. Sometimes it 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 fucking sucks when I when I hear about you know some some person in the community or in some community that not, I'm not even involved with mm. doing like having like a five. Five, 50 page, more like 50 page dissertation, breaking down every shitty thing they've done. And I'm like, I'm sorry that this happened, but at the same time, like I don't have the energy I, I to invest care. myself into this. Can someone literally give me a cliff notes of what's going on? And like, I don't want to be the guy to be like, can you tell me what to think? But you, there, there, there reaches a point where there is too much happening right now yeah. that you can, you can- it's, 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 it's like sensory overload of drama. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just like, at the end of the day, all I'm seeing is someone's getting fucking paid leave. That's yeah. all I'm seeing. Yeah. It's like, I have limited time, I have limited yeah. energy, and I want to be able to use it on shit I actually care about. Yeah. 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 Like, I, I would like to care about every big scandal, every mm. big thing that gets, you know, brought up on Twitter. And, you know, that's th that logically, and if I think about it, that's what I want to value. But logistically, <laughs> you can't. You can't. Yeah. You, you can't care about this much shit. Yeah. And I feel like a big problem right now is that this. This entire environment just feels like Big Brother, or this feels like a reality TV show where oh, pe people is. care, but do they really care? Like, they get to a point where does this really? Where I think does this really involve me? Does this, you know, am I am I doing something right to society by getting involved with this, or am I just feeding the fumes and the fire and just it's making like, the environment you, more toxic have, than it if is? You have thick enough skin, you know, nothing stopping. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't care that everyone hates you. Yeah. and you're fine with that, mm. then yeah. there's literally nothing stopping you from succeeding. I mean, there's YouTube. people who make a career off of being hated, yeah. right? So, Plenty. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, it's one of the biggest examples of called Logan Paul. And mm. one of, I, I can't remember who said this quote, but it was, you know, I think it was like Muhammad Ali or a, a boxer where they say, where they said something like, if uh, people will pay to like, what was it? People will pay to watch you Sh to shut you up. Yeah, people will pay mm. to watch you get punched. Or yeah, watch you get punched yeah. or watch you or watch you something shut the fuck lines. up. Something along those yeah. lines. And mm. man, Logan Paul has capitalized that to the max. I, yeah. I mean, I, I'll, I'll fucking admit, you know, you know, I, I got involved with whenever Logan Paul gets in, uh, gets into a boxing match. I, I, Who I watched the boxing yeah. matches. Of course, I did. I want to yeah. see Logan Paul get punched a bunch. Yeah, it's just funny. You know, I mean. <laughs> I don't really have anything personally against the guy, obviously, yeah. but no. like, it's just, it's just fun seeing two YouTubers smack each other in the face. Yeah. This shit's yeah. funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah, I, exactly. I'd do that if the right target came up. I'm like, yo, how much money did he make? Put me in the ring. Give me, <laughs> yo, give me some beef, please. <laughs> give me some beef to fight over. Pay-per-view, yeah. pay-per-view, anyway? yeah. like. God, scary. Yeah, that's uh, scary how it's evolved yeah. to that point, isn't it? It's like it, it makes you wonder what the next step is. Like we're going, we're going back to where we started, where you know, when reality is this entertaining. Who the fuck needs TV? It's right. what I've been saying the whole time, Gone. 
reality's always been more entertaining than documentaries over movies. <laughs> yeah, man, you can't make this shit up, man. You you can make up all these Harry Potters all, and Lord of the Rings. That's that's epic and all. I love those films, but you can't make up the weird shit that happens in real life. Yeah. And that's been trash taste. But you know what hasn't been trash taste? Uh without us reading the patrons. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> that didn't make no sense at all. <laughs> let's, where are you going let's with this? Let's do yeah. it. <laughs> Trash taste patrons. Woo! Yeah, Woo! Well, look at all, all these them. patrons. They love them. This guy has giga brain, giga monkey brain. Yeah. Hey, if you'd like to join the patron, then as always go to patreon.com slash trash taste. Uh, also follow us on Twitter. You'll get the uh, clips early from the episodes. So yep. You can watch them early. And if you do any uncensored versions, you'll get them. Yeah. So yeah be yeah. sure to check yeah. out. But send, it, send memes on Twitter, subreddit, and listen to us on Spotify. If don't you send don't nudes. Like our face. Don't send nudes, please. Don't yeah. do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do we, we, we don't do that. We do not do that. We do not do that here. We're, we're better than that here. <laughs> yes, but uh, anyway, right. that's been this episode of Trash Taste. Uh, do you want to do you want to take this over, Connor? You're the host. You're the host. Yeah. It's been a great episode of Trash Taste. Nay, the best episode. Let me know if you want more PowerPoint presentations in future. <laughs> I'll be happy to oblige with more. Uh, but yeah, let me know <laughs> down below what you thought of my presentation. Nay, my TED talk. Sorry, it's yeah, not yeah. just a presentation. It's so rate rate his TED talk. <laughs> yeah, rate my TED talk out of ten. Yeah. All right, see you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.